Hello. Howdy, gamers. Gamers, raccoon enjoyers. It is I, Squint. Back with Raccoon Pizza Party. The YouTube channel that we know and love. I love YouTube. Keep watching YouTube. Watch the raccoon and play a video game. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Back in Fallout, it's been five days. I've been counting because it's a very fun game. And I have fun playing it. And I have fun unlocking hundreds of perks that you're normally not supposed to. But shush, I, I know the Gamebryo. I know the secrets of Gamebryo. We can hack into the system anytime we want with the tilde key. I wonder if anyone's made a game in Fallout 3. Because I know you can, like, you can mod Fallout 3. Can you, like, take Fallout 3 itself and build another game in it? I'm sure someone has. You know, people are building, like, Fallout New Vegas in, in Starfield? No. In a different version. The, uh, was it Skyrim New Vegas, they call it, or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just looking through my inventory. Um, I was kind of curious. Maybe this stream I should do something. I'm just gonna move my... Move Squint up a little bit. Let y'all see my... Yeah. Kind of vaguely see the condition of my item now. And the, uh, and the ammo. Okay, fine, I guess I can move myself up a little bit more. Okay. 69. I just happened to land on 60, 69 pixels above the... That's good. Above the bottom of the screen. At least that's my OBS says. Got the Blackhawk. I, I was having so much fun with this, keeping this around, but I, ha I use it like once every... Every like five Fallout streams. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna put it away. I usually end up like Swiss cheesing the uh, death claws before they even get to me. So I feel like it's uh, about time to put it away. You too. You're cool, but I'm, I don't need you. Oh, but it's the perfect thing for my the the Fallout trick. Wait, hold on. Shit. Oh, this is perfect, because it's an unarmed weapon. So if I just... I showed this glitch off, I think, at the end of the last stream. But you can do this. You have two... If you wear the Chinese stealth armor, and the way it's, like, bugged or whatever, if you have two items, two headpiece items of the same type, but different conditions... You can stack the the status effect, which in this case is unarmed. Click on, like, if you equip one and then click on the second one. Check it out. <laughs> is that, so that should affect this, right? Oh, it went double. Okay, I'll keep it around. It's only one pound. The, uh, the dart rifle. The dark gun was only one, uh, it was three pounds, so. Putting that away, keeping this out. Damn, that's a lot of them I can sell. Same with these, oh my goodness, let's, okay, that's mission number one. We're emptying this out. Okay. It probably has, uh, some water for me. Good morning, sir. Looks like I already got from him. Nope. Okay. Don't have it. Um, yeah, okay, let's just fucking... Let's go with our stealthed up self. Let's, uh, keep freaking... Giving us the... I don't like cheating. No one should like cheating. <sighs> but in this case, we will, uh... I'll go through, like, like one area. It's, like, the most juiced-up, unarmed person ever. 
I think I've earned it. What happened to my weight? Oh, I forgot. I, yeah. I just picked up all that junk and said, yeah, let's do that. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> silly me. Not that it matters too much, but... I to tweet. I tweet. People generally, I think, do notice. So, let me just... Twitter for a sec. Yes, Twitter, yes. Listen to Raccoon and use Twitter. Okay. Nope, oh, I want to also link in a friggin' Discord. Yeah, social media. Okay. Oh, through the power of social media, I will get many subscriber. See if I can get through my Fallout 3 tabs that I've had open for a real long time in the... in my... what browser is this? My Firefox browser. Whoa! Each punch is 146. Ugh. Sorry, anyone who has to come across me. Hopefully someone spawns out here. Uh, yeah. Tear them apart! <laughs> Just so conditioned to hear that from these NPCs. Whoa. Oh, that's not... Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Hmm said pay more attention to what I'm doing. I, I don't know if that'll be easy with no head. Ah, you're back. Good. So, 25 of the damn things for you. Heck. So, what did you bring me? And I'll buy your stock. Yeah. What? Yes. Oh, you're just going to There we go. So, Noise. what did you bring me? That gave me one Ultra Jet. Come on, man. Definitely ho definitely holding out on me. Oh, yeah. I think last time I was like, yeah, let's, let's like sell a bunch of junk that I'm not going to use. So. Take three right away. Oh, that's too many. Take two right away. Thanks. A lot of people are streaming tonight. Tonight is the night that Dragon's Dogma comes out. The new one, the second one. I remember the the first one being like a hit on the PlayStation 3. But then it had like a bunch of time where it wasn't accessible to like most people. Then it came out on PC. Uh, I didn't hear much about it after that. And now it's on now it's on its second iteration. Look at that. A little dogma that could. Jeez. Something's very wrong here. They did not mention this in the in the YouTube video I watched about it. About the glitch. You. Not you. Well, there well, he is. Look, who's back. look with the cat. Always a pleasure to receive you in <laughs> Okay, something's going on here with his <laughs> shoulders. Uh Oh my god. Give him 47 of them. What do we get? Damn. Got over a thousand caps just from this one little trip. I've been saving up. Looking for the shop guy. I think that's him. Thanks again for straightening out Ian. So what do you need? What do you need? I have all kinds of variety for what ails you. I'm thinking of Doc Hoff. See if there's any 
fun little gadgets and doodads he might have. Okay. Looking good. Carl. Nice little repair of my new, my new fisticuffs. Bring up the percentage of damage they can do. Oh yeah, do you have any, uh... Got any grapes? And then he waddled away. Who here likes the duck song? Raise your hand. It's okay, you don't have to be shy. You can like the duck song. <laughs> this guy here likes the duck song. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just gonna be selling a ton of junk, a uh, ton of my ammo now. A lot of ammo that I don't need. Oh, need to close something, but also say hi to someone. Aw. Okay, cool. Maple just said, uh, I, I got a DM from Maple just saying that she's hanging out with two friends that we know and, uh, they said hi. It's very sweet of them. Yay. Very cute. Oh, I was gonna do this. Uh... I can't believe I still remember what the name is for that Megaton Player House. I feel like there's a lot of pitfalls in my memory there with being like... Like, I feel like I could fall... I could forget one of those or like misplace one of those for like house being home instead. No, I got lucky. Um, okay, I found out this whole time I've been carrying this, carrying this Geomapper around. I really haven't had to this whole time. It'll, um... I just need to bring the geomapper with me once I discover every or once I turn in stuff to her to Riley. Neat. Um oh. Oh, I can't repair them. Oh. Okay. Well, uh maybe it's a different type of knuckles. I think there's a, like just spiked knuckles, not the brass knuckles. That might be the difference. I feel like I got duped. Okay, I know I want to go to this Chrysalis building. And I want to visit both of the vaults. I also really want to like fully explore parts of the uh, the northwest here. Because this is like the area I've been so iffy on in general when it comes to my Fallout knowledge. Okay, so let's let's go to this building first, because I remember discovering it, and I think there is like more there that I didn't really. I don't think I actually went in, explored it. Is it above me or below me? It's above me. I have a feeling these are super mutants. Also, things sound great in the Capital Wasteland, from Three Dogs' perspective. Oh man, this is gonna be neat. Oh, the critical damage from this is gonna break the game in half. Ha! Oh my god, <laughs> that's so fun. Uh, I'm not gonna keep that on me. Too heavy. Instead, I can have a one pound infinite puncher. I don't know what I meant by that. Yeah. And why stealthed? While stealthed? Why stealthed? Oh, is this an overlord? Let's see what one punch against the overlord does. Oh boy. 
No, no, let's let's take it all the way. Oh, that's you don't know. You don't know the half of it. Oh, he survived. Oh, this thing is uh this thing is hardy as heck. I can hear you. <laughs> Feels like he went farther than normal. My god, I'm gonna have to catch up with him. Nice. Okay, cool. We're gonna explore this whole building while juiced up. And speaking of ju while juiced up, what's up? If I'm if I'm gonna if I'm gonna only do this here, I was tempted to put on like mouse keys so I can click my uh, numpad five button to work as a mouse click. And now I'll just I'll do this for everyone. Just rapidly click my mouse. hard to do because my mouse is so sticky it's just so sticky it's it's covered in crime and various fluids I get, it keeps getting stuck a lot of things getting 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 to this mouse when you're oh I fucked it up no no this whole time it's busy talking about doing something to my mouse oh my god Oh, well, that's... How am I still not detected? No way. Oh my god, it's still working. Okay, we're good. Ugh. Now, where was I? <laughs> Who even does that on their computer anymore? Don't know a single person who boots up their Windows 95 and does that. So, it was a joke. My mouse isn't that disgusting, and it's not covered in that many various liquids. Okay. Oh, has it been... Looks like it got maxed out or something, the damage. Or maybe I'm delusional, and actually that was like double what it was the last time, I think. Fuck. Yeah. There he is. Time to delete him. It was worth it. If you were to ask me if all the clicking was worth it, I would tell you, without a doubt, yes. Just for that. And just for the save. <laughs> for a sec, I thought saving broke the audio. Oh, my head's back. Wow. Dusty. Okay, I'm not, I'm not being methodical about this place at all. Wow. I'm pretty sure, so, the Fallout 3 watching experience is basically, like, looking at someone play an I Spy, but in 3D. Oh, I Spy in 3D. That's like, how have they not made that a VR game if they haven't? Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna still try punching him. <laughs> Just let him settle down. Oh, this, this guy doesn't know I'm here. Oh, it's just a regular one. Rip. Okay, everything seems chill. I think this was a car company. A Chrysler's building. I keep saying it that way, is it? What's it called? The... Chrysless. Chrysless. Okay. What's it called? Someone say it. Oh, hello, handsome raccoon. Hello, punk chef. Hope you're having a good night. Maybe we are wasting our time. 
could be out killing. Shut up! You stupid! Leave me alone! <laughs> All you do is complain! Have this conversation okay. with my bro. You All the time. Dumb to talk to. Alrighty. Good talk. I don't know if you were there, Punk Chef, but I I've done this glitch that was really easy to do. You just need two headgears of it of the same type but different quality. And the Chinese stealth armor is a glitch where if you keep doing this, you'll get the uh the skill buff effect will stack over and over, so that's why my unarmed is at 4,000. <laughs> so now I have this uh, unique pair of spiked uh, knuckles that do about like 200 damage per punch. <laughs> we're just having fun with this glitch while we're hanging out in this building. Ooh. It's amazing how, like, insignificant collecting scrap metal is now at this point, but I still will do it. Because we're pretending it matters. A lot of the time when I'm playing old school RuneScape, I do little things as if, you know, I was like an Iron Man or something. Because I like to pretend it matters. Even though when you're not an Iron Man in RuneScape... You can just buy anything you want, so it, it kind of, like, defeats the purpose of a lot of the little mechanics of the game that, like, extend gameplay. But I like doing them. I think it's fun. It's it's what the gameplay is. <laughs> I mean, I don't do it all the time. Like, I don't do every single little thing. I, I take advantage of the, uh, of the Grand Exchange very often to buy things. But you know what? It's, it's fun. It's still real. It's still real for me, damn it. I am one punch man, by the way. That's right, punk chef. One punch, one punk man. One punk man. Jesse punk man. That's when, uh, when Jesse's persona is Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Need to watch that anime. I watched it once. I like binged it, and I liked the first season of it. But then I just remember the second season of it dealt a lot with, like, like other superheroes besides him. And I found that less entertaining. I haven't seen much of Mob Psycho 100. It's by the same person. Because, I mean, you can just tell by the way it's drawn. And uh, I, I found the episode one of that very enjoyable. But I didn't continue past it. So I can't, can't fully say how enjoyable that one is. It has been a while since I've gone out of my, my way to look at an animu. There's a lot of, like... When I, when I decide to look at an anime, it's like something about it just catches my eye. It's very rare when I'll be like on a whim, or... It's very rare when I'll... I don't... I really do not frequent anime is what I'm trying to say. It's rare when I even interact with it. But when I do, it's like... Something about it just... Just glints the corner of my eye and and leaves a little graze in my eye. It hurts really badly, but it also makes me want to watch them very hard. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I guess I'm not supposed to be here. Yep. It's definitely the exit after the end of the uh, dungeon, I'm sure. Gosh, there's so much junk I haven't searched here. The Chrysalis building is so big and annoyingly big. My god, you're big. Okay, if anyone needs more sound clips, let me know. Oh. I have to finish the TV show Vikings ASAP. I have two and a half seasons and it leaves... Oh no, Hulu in eight days! <laughs> wow. That's a really interesting, like, time crunch that model puts you under, huh? The idea of it not existing anymore for you to enjoy. That sucks. I really do not tend to watch series on, uh, on, like, streaming services. 
I, I will only ever watch them when if I'm like watching them with a friend. And I usually I'm not watching them with a friend. I'm usually watching them with a significant other. I have a hard time watching like serialized stuff that's not like like even movies. I have a hard time watching them alone. I will watch some alone. I can. It's just uh I find them a lot less entertaining when I can't react to it with someone. It's like serialized stuff really doesn't pique my interest when it's just me. It doesn't feel as special. That's a, that's probably a thing that keeps me uh that keeps me from watching anime too. I feel like I want to watch it with someone else. You'll watch it while I work. While I work, nice. Ooh, a, a quantum, Quantanamo? For me. That Quantanamo is my bay. Look at that, my, my mic muted, oh. Good thing no one heard what I just said, or else they'd hate what I just said. <laughs> okay, I think I explored every th little thing is gonna be alright. I really feel like this is the way you're supposed to get up here, which is awesome. That's actually like a little platformer. It's very silly that they actually incorporated that into the gameplay here. Oh, hi. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, fine. You come to me. You really want it? You can come have it. There. Poor guy. Should have told him I had an unfair advantage. Should have told him about the glitch that gives you a, a million damage with fists. Love those screams. Oh, you watched a remake of Roadhouse today. Thought it was a fun movie. I know nothing about that movie. You say I I know the first one is. Mr. Swayze is in it, right? I I remember Peter Griffin in Family Guy being very excited about that one. I remember when Seth MacFarlane found it very interesting to just reference this thing and make an episode about it. So I, I remember it from that, but I have not seen it myself. What, can, I, can I please? Thank you. Thank you for the burnt books. Thank you. The song feels very Oblivion. Maybe Skyrimish. Hi. Oh, Jack Gyllenhaal. However you spell his name. Dick Slut. <laughs> Dick Slut. Sick moment over here. I am not. I'm not a word speller. I definitely am an abuser of... I, I've been saying abuse a lot this stream. I don't like that. I take advantage of... That's not much better. Of uh, spell check way often. Catch his ass using, using spell check, but not watching anime. I spy with my raccoon eye. Something that's irradiated. P.U. Aw. Oh, what? <laughs> What's going on in here? We're dying, assholes. <laughs> the signs that were outside the vault, too. Help us. That's okay. I'll take you with me. They'll join the gnome collection. They'll be happy where I'm taking them. Use Google to spell things. I get that. I do that too. Especially when I'm like... Trying to spell correctly in a tweet or something. In a tweet that I'm posting for my... 
my streamer profession, my my streamer uh career. <laughs> Remember, as you're when you're a streamer, you're one wrong tweet away from losing it all. That's why I spell check. And not privilege check. Get out of here, you. What's a matter, you? I'd like to formally apologize. I'd like to informally apologize. <laughs> and explodes from the tripwire. Cool. Lots of computer. I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Nice. Love when my nukes turn to quantum. There's this Call of Duty streamer showing fake emails with Activision saying he wasn't cheating and will be un get unbanned. It's the funniest thing. Fake emails? That's hilarious. Wow. That's quite the weird situation he's in. <laughs> Whoa. The implications there of what you just described are very dark. <laughs> like, him pretending that he got unbanned is really weird. <laughs> this is obviously fake. Oh, no. <laughs> Noticed a lot of streamers tonight. It's like a Friday night or something. Don't they know people are busy, like, I don't know, having sex or something right now? Who's watching a stream at, on Friday? Won't catch my ass streaming on Friday. Okay. Oop. Oop. We just, just finished a 10 hour shift, goddamn. Okay, see, so that's why. No one's gonna be watching a stream, they're gonna be at work right now at, at 10 p.m. Central. What am I saying? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to start an argument with all the streamers. How inconsiderate of them. Ha! Anyway. Getting my anger out. Oh, very hard, huh? Mm. Yeah, um, not for me. Oh my gosh! It's the cow house. I would resurrect them if I could. Ooh. Drama will definitely get viewers. I don't know if you want those people here. Good point. Wow. Very well said. I, uh... I agree. Drama gets people in the door, but... I don't know if I... If I care for those unsavories. I like drama. But I don't like causing it or being a part of it. <laughs> I'll, I'll look at drama and be like, oh, that's interesting, I guess. But you're so right, though. What the fuck? It's a really weird texture here. Like watching trauma on who and who doesn't? Who here isn't guilty of watching drama? Cast the first stone, he who is dramaless. Oh, it's El Pooch! It's a friend of mine because I got the animal perk. 
going on? Why is this root? Why is this building full of so many hard locks? Am I supposed to have a key? I think. Is, are these like saw trap buildings? That are things going on here? Saw trap situations. Kind of feels like that. Let me open the uh, Fallout Wiki for this place. The Fallout Wikia. Oh my god, another hard, very hard lock? What is this? Scaling ass locks. No. Oh, I remember in in uh, Skyrim, I'd always like, I'd always just <laughs> crouch around the Jarl's place in Whiterun. Trying to unlock all the uh, the cabinets that are there. All the, what are they called? Display cabinets or whatever. Just because it was fun to unlock them all. Oh my god, speaking of which. I don't know why I'm so offended about these locks then after talking about that. Kind of want to start playing Starfield again since it's a few updates. Ooh, I'd like to know your experience with it. Once you do try it out again. be interested in hearing if it's oh my god what am i doing here if it if it can be an enjoyable experience well up op when optimized oh oh there we go it's the first lock that actually gave me trouble actually though strange meat yes dog meat less yes thought i heard a radio no, no, you're not hearing this audio. This audio is not... Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. You put over a thousand hours into Starfield at launch? You're joking. That I have a thousand hours passed since its launch? I didn't even know that. <laughs> It just sounds like so long. I mean, I know all about the game, though. Do you? Did you like it? Did <laughs> I know how the game turns into like Skyrim? I don't want to put it in any more in detail than that because for various reasons. But I'm aware of its interesting uh, gameplay. Wow, this place is full of strange meat. This place is like hell. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so glad I can delete these guys in two hits. Oh, MasterCard. Well, I wonder, wonder what that's going to help me with. I'll hold, keep you here for a sec. Okay, you enjoyed it for what it was. You didn't overhype it. That's good. It's good that you went into it with tempered expectations. Oh, why'd I do that? Think about Starfield. I forgot that there's, uh... There are enemies afoot. It's just hanging pits of meat. It's like Sarlacc pits. <laughs> See, now, if you know Star Wars, you'll find that reference very funny. I feel like Bethesda games, you'll like it. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that's kind of the mood with Bethesda games, where you're like... You can't get your expectations up too high with them. You know, the Todd Howard, tell me lies. Tell me, tell me sweet little lies. I think that's Crobat Productions that made a that video, the well-known one at least. Where it's just Todd Howard saying things and <laughs> they play sweet little lies over it. It's so good. I love that video so much. I love everything that person puts out. They uh they always put out like very critical, like, here are the actual facts about <laughs> what is happening 
when it comes to a game and like and comparing it to its past games or whatever they they always like just very starkly presents the facts with just like visual evidence of everything that's happening you gotta love when people do that and they're like okay <laughs> there's no like this isn't a, this isn't like your friend saying like oh yeah so this other guy told me that this thing happened it's it's just like no he's he's just gonna show you that uh I don't know that that like Fallout or no that that Dead Rising one is vastly superior than Dead Rising four or whatever or how uh a stripped down something was compared to like I think he has a really good one about the um how they how they showed off Bioshock Infinite before and after release. And how there was just like so many inconsistencies from what they were saying the game was going to be before it. And then what it, what it turned into when they released it. <laughs> Todd Howard is not as bad as Peter Molyneux. Fair. I like Todd Howard. I like his leather jackets. <laughs> I like how people gravitated toward that now. That he wears all these leather jackets. Glad people noticed the pattern. <laughs> The, the pattern of leather jackets equaling equaling respect. What is happening? What? What? Okay, that guy I I did delete. I punched him way too hard. He, he just he's gone. The man's gone. Doesn't exist. Okay. Oh no. Oops. Whew. Okay. No collision down there. I guess. Woo. I wonder Butch wears leather jacket. Aw. That's funny. Butch just loves repping his man, Todd Howard. His, his father, Todd Howard. Just disarming that to get the experience, you know. Damn, 40 shotgun shells? For me? It'd be nice if I could use them, but... I'm, uh... Busy breathing my hands on people. What? <laughs> I'm busy, like, waving my hands at people is what I meant. <laughs> breathing. Just wave my hand by and someone, like, apparently deletes themselves from the game. Whoa, this is a good little cabinet here. I would have enjoyed this when it was new. This... This, uh, what does it say? Edomatic. Okay. That said, like, fatomatic. Which, like, fair, I guess. I've been watching some Urban Explorer videos lately. Do I like Fable? We, I think you've talked about Fable before. I've never played it. I think I remember you saying stuff about it, though. Is that and that that is a Peter Molyneux flick, isn't it? I, I was gonna say something, but I forgot actually. But it's okay. Oh yes, urban exploring. That's what I was gonna say. Um, yes, I, I just just <laughs> I came across this one YouTube channel and I've just been like watching them every so often. And, uh, it's neat stuff. It, seem, it seems highly illegal, but it's neat. <laughs> uh, it's this one channel called Stringer. Stringer something. Stringer Media, I think. But yeah, those that's the person who I've been seeing a few videos of. A Vid few videos from. They're pretty good. I mean, I, I can't really compare them to most because I, um, they're the only, like, urban explorers I've watched ever but they seem to be good at what they do they'll definitely go places they shouldn't ha! goodbye sorry centaur it is and if you want to stream it i'll buy it for you <laughs> thank you for mentioning that I am not 
jumping at the opportunity to play it at the moment, but I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. That's very considerate. And is a good way to support your raccoon streamer. Uh-huh. Oh, are oh, the dogs from before? Oh no, basement. I don't want to go here yet. Saw a bunch of red dots. The one you watch is exploring with Josh, but he's kind of gets on my nerves. <laughs> oh, there's someone here. Oh, I wonder if they saw me from earlier, or when I peeped my head out. Okay, well, time for uh, this. I, um... Oh, great. This is going to be an annoying fight. There's like a... There's definitely like a genre... Come on, damn. There's definitely like a way of presenting urban exploring that's pretty annoying. Where everyone will be like... Oh, you're going to make a sandwich. Nice. Yummy. There, there's like the the way people present urban exploring where it's like, oh man, oh I think I think slang was here, oh oh wow, and, and I guess they're all kind of like that, and they all have their own like certain ways of kind of getting on people's nerves, like I, I can see what you mean, just just by the way they they all sound kind of similar, like at least that's the impression that I've gotten from the few like examples I've seen outside of the one I've seen. He's a bit ditzy. Okay. Oh. Oh. He's a bit of a bimbo, okay? I don't know anything about him. I, I mean, just just to clear my name about me not knowing anything about him. It's Punk Chef who thinks he's a bimbo. Um... I feel like I could describe the way they they act more more accurately. But it it seems like they only have like one kind of reaction when it comes to looking at uh the stuff they're urban exploring. I don't know why I keep adding the word urban. I mean, but that I think it kind of comes off like that because they've done it so much. So it's it's like they're they're making assumptions or like you know observations based on based on them having like been places a lot so they probably do know what they're talking about to an extent but it does always come off as like they're they're making it up on the spot and uh and or it's it's like <laughs> they're just like oh someone definitely was here someone someone left this here what does it mean like <laughs> it's it's a weird way of delivering for sure it's very like it's like excited for a mystery that's probably not even a mystery that sort of presentation i would say it's like fake true crime or something <laughs> i don't know like it's uh it's like you're making something up on the spot i guess it's kind of like streaming okay and that's why it makes me angry why does he get all the views and I don't? And I'm here, urban exploring my ass off in Fallout 3. <laughs> hmm. Maybe he should take a, you know, take a day in my shoes. Walk a, a day in my shoes and see what's up. Walk a day, walk a mile in my shoes. See what it's like having to play video games. That's right, called out. Exploring abandoned places in China, which getting caught there is probably pretty dumb. Uh-huh. Yeah, like... I, I came across this one uh, YouTube short that was like... I, I think it started off with like, we, we put a tent over this man, man tunnel in a... This man, I keep saying man, this manhole. Okay, that's not much better, but <laughs> we, we put a tent over this manhole 
um, to see what's in where it leads, and then they go into it, and it like it leads into an underground tunnel system, and then like into an office building area, and it seems fake the way they like put it together, but like they it, it looks like they really do go down that manhole, and it's like, dude, come on, that's. <laughs> That's like really dangerous. You'll probably like get stuck there one day and like waste resources. Like, <laughs> like, like some agency is gonna have to come out and get you, and like, you know, you'll probably be fined, and you'll look like a dumbass, and you'll you'll probably get need a tetanus shot. Like, <laughs> look at me in, in my armchair, being like, oh, this guy's dumb, and I'm smart. That's me, by the way. That I'm, I'm describing myself here. Um. Okay, I'm taking the, taking the master key. Yeah, I'm taking the master class. Master class has like solidified itself in the, in the public consciousness. I feel, at least in the YouTube consciousness. And I feel silly that that's like a term we all know now. I'm, I've been taking an online course. Oh, you want to go to the place that Silent Hill is based off of? From what I remember hearing from from YouTubers, <laughs> if I recall, I think that place isn't it like uh, it's a coal fire. It, it's it's a never-ending coal fire that's underneath a town. <laughs> I think that's like the story behind that place, but I do like Silent Hill. I do like how foggy and empty it is. And it would be neat to have that experience in real life. Have a, a silent hilling. A silent shilling. You don't live far from it, ooh. No, oh, he didn't make it. R.I.P. Oh, he didn't make it. Rest in pieces. Oh, she didn't make it. Rest in cows. I'm so glad I'm here to take things out of boxes and throw them on the ground eventually. What would the post-apocalypse do without me? Oh, I thought I heard a centaur stomping about. Poor guy. Only if this could have been prevented. Where? Where'd the super mutant go? I went back this way, I guess. What do you want? Apparently, there's a, a dispute going on here. Goodbye. Sorry to snap your everything. You punched out all my blood. Why are those TF2 meet the meet the Mercs videos so good? Do you, do I put chips on my sandwich? I would. I if it's an option, yes, I will. I am definitely a proponent of crunch. I'd love to add crunch to my sandwiches. 10 out of 10. Would do it again. Unapologetically. Whoa. Not right away. Seeing it glowing out of the corner of my eye. It's the kind of loot I'm talking about. Hey, smack your ass. Wow, <laughs> he assumed a position. All right, well. I mean, if he's open to it, I'm not going to say no. I'll give him a chance. 
to prove himself. Can he really throw it back like he claims? Your Honor, the defendant claims he can throw it back. Ah! What exactly do you mean by that? By that? Uh, I'm just gonna do a bunch of this for a sec here, folks. You know. Do some of that item management. Strange meat. Still need to go back to Little Lamplight. I'm dropping. Yes, yeah, so bye. Dropping them. Drop them like my sponsors dropped me. They'll come back. I know they will. I do have my. Uh, wait. Have I done Mothership Sada yet? Nope. I've. The only DLC I've done so far has been, uh, Operation Anchorage. It's the only one I've done so far. I'm kind of going to do them in order, I think. So after I'm done having my fun in the Capital Wasteland, finally exploring every little nook and cranny that I can find. Because I've, I've been wanting to explore this whole thing as much as I can before I continue on. After that, I plan to go on to the pit. Which was the next DLC. Sorry. Downloadable content? No, add-ons. That's what they called them. That was the last add-on they made. I was wondering. If they, they had like a silly special term that they used to call them instead of like DLCs. They called them add-ons. Goodbye. Woo, going to my city. Yeah, the pit. Take me down to the pit city. You got blood on your face. <laughs> I need a We Will re -rule Rock You remix with, uh, Take Me Down to Paradise City. <laughs> I feel like those have similar BPMs, right? Someone out there. Someone, someone's probably done it. They definitely don't have similar BPMs, I think. Oh. I was saying it earlier, but like, Fallout 3 feels like a giant game of I Spy. That's what I like about it. It's kind of an experience you can't really, uh, can't really find in many games. Just how much of a scavenger hunt this game feels like. That the Fallout series, that the 2D, the 2D, the 3D ones they released. Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. They always felt like big, big I Spy scavenger hunts. And boy, I loved I Spies as a kid. Kidding me? Like the Halloween one where you get to see the little skeleton guy or gal walking around. If I recall in, like, the PC version of that game, the skeleton had, like, a girl's voice. Oh, yeah, I saw you turn the conversation. Yeah. That sort of found into a little video. I did. Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> I didn't, actually. That was all Saint's doing. Saint was, like, watching the episode, and they were like, hey, this is... <laughs> They're just, like, imagining the edit in their head the whole time, so... They just came to me one day and were like, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm totally going to make an edit of this. And I was like, oh shit, that's awesome. And they did, so I threw it up on the channel and I couldn't be happier. I thought it was really funny. I'm glad they liked it so much, enough to just make it into a thing. <laughs> it was really fun. And thank you for mentioning the Soda Stream. I, I think that was you that uh, that started the conversation. Whoa. Whoa. 
Pretty good. Pretty impressive, guy. Yeah, I'm glad you can. <laughs> Me too. I'm glad you can inspire it. I'm glad to hear that. Without you, we would not be have we have not we would have not been graced with the with the gamer hamster bottle gamer water bottle. I was debating if I wanted to call it gamer hamster bottle or gamer water bottle for the title. I think gamer water bottle makes sense, but <laughs> it is kind of funny to call it a hamster bottle. Following like when you say gamer hamster bottle, it sounds like it's like four gamer hamsters is the problem. So that's why I want to just call it a gamer water bottle, but. Both are good, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I just love the mechanism of hamster water bottles, though. The fact that they're just like essentially like water ballpoint pens. And that's why it was my favorite image at the time. As I say in the video, it's kind of one of my favorite v images at the moment. Something along the lines of that. Just wouldn't say the line. Gamester bottle. <laughs> Blazing. Waiting. Okay, it's ING. Grading. Fuck, it's joining. But I want... Ugh. I want to be safe. Let's see if I can get the replenishment. Okay, well... Okay, so it has to... Okay, that was pretty risky, folks, but we did it. We, we decided to just go balls... Raw balls deep. There's no condom on the balls. I'm not the first person to make a joke about putting a condom on balls. So I will not take any credit. But, we were at, but to reiterate, that was... It's pretty ballsy. And very raw ballsy at that. Smackdown versus Raw. And balls and holes. One would hope. It is what the fans want, after all. A lovely, adoring audience. My parasocial babes. Uh... Damn, the dirty water only gives you 10 health. That's more than most things, but still. Never thought it was that low, actually. That's where when I know I really have never noticed how much the dirty waters heal me until now, oddly enough. Hello. Mutant friends play tricks on me, tie shoes together, and place marbles on the floor. The trick was the concussion I got. Silly trick to play on your friends. Don't don't do that. That's that's false propaganda and it's a joke. Goodbye. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Very ragdoll. Yep, and there we're back. Well, oh, this place was just a just a big old loot bucket. Oh, it's the last place I haven't explored. Whoa! Good thing I did. It's a lot of stuff down here. Just saw a big book of science that I definitely will get a lot of use out of at level 100 science. I'll take it out, but I'll probably drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Pure hat. Yoink.
It's a very big building with no loot or lore. You're kind of right. Yeah. I really did not see much of either. Stinky raccoons gaming in here. Hello, Riku. Howdy. Howdies. Howdies nuts. How these nuts doing? They're doing well. Hope your, I hope your nuts are doing well too. I know your nuts have been having a lot of issues lately, especially the ones located near the throat. There's a lot of context missing, folks. I swear it makes sense if you know who Riku is and how sick they've been. Yeah, wow, that place, <laughs> zero lore. I really thought there'd be more there. Well, very sick noodle. Guess we can have this at least. Aw, oh, it didn't blow up the car. Aw, oh, lame. Set piece ass, car ass. You just thought that was a Men in Black reference? Oh. What was something about Riku? Something about the, the balls I just mentioned? <laughs> On here. Enclave? Why is the middle enclave guy so nice? He's why is he nice guy? What? Is he just like playing the field? What's what is this? Why is he not have a bye? Just a nice guy here. Let's see if he stays nice if I. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I thought you the balls thing was the reference. It's been a while since I've seen Men in Black. In the movie Men in Black, there's an alien with balls in his chin. <laughs> and he says Orion's belt. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I'll drop that. Fine. Can't believe that Enclave guy was just chill. Don't understand, but okay. Oh, see ya. Sorry about your friends. Okay, remove that. Um, I want to see if there's any, like... There's, like, a ton of stuff here that I've, like, accidentally, ex like, checked off, yet I haven't really explored it. Minefield! I never actually fully f finished Minefield. I'm definitely gonna sell my stuff. Just, uh, looking around the map. I have so many mines I can get in Minefield. I need to kill Arkansas first. Or Arkansas. Explain, Arkansas. Welcome to Megaton. Please stand clear of the gate. Looking for that special some. Please stand clear of my farts. Oh, man. How do you say aluminum? <laughs> I I grew up saying aluminum, so I think I'll just stay with that. And because we're in the U.S., or at least I am, I'll say aluminum. But I will fully admit that it's aluminum. It's it's just spelled like that. It really is. 
I think aluminium makes a lot more sense with the way it's spelled. But I will say aluminum foil. I guess... I guess I'll make more of a stink about it if I'm talking about the element, I guess, because... I guess aluminium is the element. Like, I don't know. Either way, it's fine. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna YouTube or rage about it, Crazy but Wolfgang's got just what you need. I do. Assuming I do feel like the there is a right way of that I've got. It's spelled at least. As a dyslexic person, I think I know a lot about the way things are spelled correctly. So this is my wheel and roadhouse. Give me a shout if you need anything. Also, fuck me. I've sold his stuff to him recently. I guess. Um, this is bad. I, I don't. I'm gonna even sell shit to you right now. Um. I guess I'll wait again. Maybe I'll get a different trader. Sick. He's kicking Riku's ass. Coughing Welcome so much, and it's been super light. You've been super lightheaded. Sleep through most of the day. No. I'm sorry, Riku. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. Staying inside. That reminded me. There is a guy that I never actually buy sell stuff to in Paradise Falls. Head on up. Actually, wait. Someone spawned here. Now it's Wolfgang. You didn't reset, did you? A friend with deep pockets. Crazy Wolfgang's friend with a deep cock. Assuming deep coccyx. This is the Fallout experience you want, folks. Oh, this is something I saw. I, I think I I was here. I think I, I think I showed this off last time I was here, but I saw this in a Fallout Facts video. That this part of the gate is actually closable. This has a weird, like, function. This weird animation you'll never normally see. Keep walking. Keep squawking. Guns, guns. Gung. Gangly. Well, actually. We're very oh actually pilts tonight, okay? We're gonna be oh actual actualing a lot. Sorry to say. We're gonna be oh actuallying and oh reallying the whole night. Just like the old meme. With the owl. A owl, really? You need guns? I got. <laughs> Hell, really? Thank goodness I'm old enough to know old memes. What a benefit. It really makes sure my audience stays a certain age. I guess my audience will die with me. <laughs> I was just... I, I just thought about that, but, like... Like, I real Well, no. I mean, I don't mind if people get into me... Into my content, you know... When I'm older, I guess. I'm, I'm fine with people of my current age being into my content. I wouldn't feel too weird about that, I guess, but... I guess that wouldn't... That would still mean they wouldn't get old meme references, probably. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I just didn't want to didn't want it to sound as dark as it came off because I I don't think about it like that. I think about it just um it's funny that that like the pool of people that would get that meme is getting smaller and smaller as time goes on. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a lot less dark now. Okay. Another Another satisfied BJ. Anyway. Can I even... I think I can... I thought... Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. I thought you couldn't, actually. That's why I wasn't. Hmm. I think this can be a merchant I could sell to, too. If I'm not mistaken. 
which I very mel very mel might me. Very well might be mistaken. Oh, I was here. Watch it, will you? Will you watch it? You're a mess. I did. Ooh, let me see your chems. Oh. You have like nothing. Can't sell shit to you. Take four frag grenades and leave me be. A pleasure doing business with you. Oh wait, actually. You're a mess. There's no way. That's there's two different. There is. There's two different stockpiles of money depending on what you buy. Wow. Bethesda, you hacks. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. <laughs> My name is Todd Howard. It was worth the wait. My name is Todd Howard. Show me the blue screen. <laughs> it's just confusing Todd Howard with Gabe Another Newell. I don't like the in lore reason. Oh, Riku, have you, did I show you about the glitch that I have going on right now? Look at how. Look at my, uh, my unarmed stat right now. <laughs> If you wear the Chinese stealth armor, there's a glitch where if you have two items that are different conditions, you can wear one and then click the other one, and it'll keep stacking the uh, the effects that it gives you. So right now my, my unarmed is like a million. That's why I'm using these right now. <laughs> Yeah, is that how why you punched that guy and he died? Yeah. <laughs> the guy I punched in the back of the head a second ago. I'm just having fun. Like, we're this late level. It's it's just like, how many stim packs do I have? How about as a, as, as compensation for the amount of uh, damage I'm going to be like mitigating by punching people out like this? I'm going to do something to, to make it even. For this episode, just so I can be overpowered. Maybe the second next episode too, I don't know. As compensation, I'm gonna get rid of 300 stim packs. For the amount of damage that like I'm I'm like cheating. I feel like that's that's a fair trade-off. It's going the bin of shame. There. Yeah, sent ten penny. Little lamp. Oh yeah, little lamp light. I've been having the Brotherhood too. That's a good idea. Thank you. But um, I do want to go back to little lamp light actually. Now that you mention it. Actually, wait. Fuck. Wait, enemies. Oh, what are you? Okay, but anyway, I'm I'm glad I I feel less guilty now about doing this now that I got rid of 300 of my stim packs. It's like. The way I'd play this game anyway would just be like bullet sponging with all my stim packs anyway, so this is just like making it quicker for us <laughs> and goofier. I'll play this as fair as I can. I was kind of hoping to land on that. Oh yeah, and also here's a side effect of the glitch that I was doing. Um, I'm headless now. Oh, I fucked up. Broke the game. Minimized. I miniaturized the game, and then it crashed on me. Shame. Oh, I wonder if the glitch still works. If it was, like, saved. Between sessions. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up that it lets you keep it. Shouldn't be like this. The world shouldn't be like this. Well, actually, I was coming back here anyway, so... I was going to... 
offload all the strange meat. I actually picked up more strange meat in the Chrysalis building, so... Lucky us. Lost stuff I want to put away. It's ten wonder glues. So yeah, I have like 80-something strange meat to give the people here. Oh, it, it spawned into a different thing this time. Instead of a gusty, it's a yaogwai, and the yaogwai are nice to me now. Oh no, the things aren't nice to the yaogwai, I heard. I heard a gatling gun. Where was that? Where'd that come from? Where did she come from? Where'd she go? I could have swore I heard a Gatling gun. Is it like on top of the lamplight? Oh, look at the little uh, mole. Oh, that's a cute model. Life could be a dream. I've had that stuck in my head a little bit lately. Especially the meme version, where it's like this... This orangutan. Orangutan. That like swims by the camera. David Attenborough presents... Orangutan. Hello. Hi. I'm here to do your strange meat deal. But I have such a hard time spawning the kid in this house. He like never spawns here. Like it's fucked. It's fucked. There's this schematic that I've been wanting to get from him forever. I just can't because he's not here. Oh, oh, oh! Anything you'd like to get off your hands? Uh, let's trade. Wow, I, I normally can't. Sure thing, pal. Special deals for us kids. Oh, cool. The for us kids. <laughs> you say so, kid. Oh, he's a junk seller. Nice. This schematic, it won't actually give me another version. It's just I want to get it for collection's sake. But this schematic and is. The second to last one that I have not collected yet. The last one is still in Vault 101. It's in the, uh, the framed quote of from the Bible. I am the good animated movie, the Alpha and the Omega. Those who thirst can drink of me b b and, and no longer thirst for the be thirsty. I think that's how it goes. How the be thirsty. Uh, no. Whoa. Wait a minute. Perfect. Come back later. Boy. Never know when I'll get another big find. Come on back. Come on back now, here. Uh, the strange meat. This is the mayor here, I think. So, what sort of trouble? Are Nothing. Wait. Yeah, got something to. 
fungus cavern. I'd like to make a deal. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. Got his ass. But yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine. And it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. <laughs> Love the skins. So, you the ways. Want a slice of that gray green gold. Huh? Ways for saying fucking after Maybe everything. Maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? I th yeah, I mean, we've already done this conversation. I guess I just want to refresh myself on it. Uh, I bring in needed supplies, and I get some of the fungus in return. Well, it'd lighten the load for our scab team. Since you're pretty much one of us, here's the deal. For every piece of strange meat or buff out you bring in, you'll be repaid with one cube Hog. of fungus. You couldn't ask for a better deal. Okay, I'm about to exchange all my strange, strange meat, meat for fungus. Lucy about the buff out. They've got uses for them. Okay, so I need to find Claire. It's gonna take a minute to find him. I think he's in the Great Cavern last time I saw him. He's wearing a goofy ass ass hat. Hey. Hey. Like how the fog's moving with the camera. No, no. Okay, well, Claire is more likely in the yeah in the kitchen. I was just about to say. Last time I encountered him, though, he was out here. I would never. I will shoot this. We have Teddy Grams. Aw. Those are the like ginger, but ginger. What am I saying? Those are the uh, the graham cracker cookies that are shaped like little teddy bears, right? I like graham cracker cookies a lot. Or graham crackers. I think they're nice. Hey, Claire. Watch it. Oh, is this a strange meat? Right? No, it's cave fungus. Okay. Hi. Hey, what's up? I took him out of his animation. Got strange meat to trade for fungus. Oh, great. The fungus pools will gobble this right oh, up. Oh, jeez. Those fungus pools sure do love human meat. I'd like some food. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Bon ami. Cherry. This guy's pretty good. Sells uh, a good amount of stuff. Also, wow, he gives me like full value. How much fungus? One K fungus? Wait. Oh no. Let me know if you need any. Oh. Oh no, folks. All right. Well, I hope y'all are having a good night. I'm glad you have your Teddy Grams. Sounds very tasty. I like how they're like, they're like graham crackers. They're like glazed a little. They have like a, a sheen to them, if I recall. Well, there's nothing wrong with glazing your graham crackers, okay? It's perfectly natural. Well, that um. Get ready to see uh, <laughs> cave fungus removed, strange meat removed, cave fungus added for like the next hour. I don't know why I'm trading all those. I really don't need to. Oh, the ones with cinnamon. Yummy. Here I come. I am Cinnamon. See, now that's for Apple Jacks. Remember Apple Jacks? Remember My Little Pony Generation 5? Wait, fuck. No, it's Gen 4. That's the one with fuck. Gen 5 is the current one. Back when I was. Oh! I think I did it. I did it 87 times, or so. Yep. All right, enjoy all the human meat. Glad the pools will enjoy it.
Okay, I'm pretty sure I can sell stuff to, uh, wait. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can sell stuff to the, uh, medical person, too. I think her name was Lucy, the one that said they'd give me... Oh, hi. Hey there. You have any Nuka-Cola? Even just a bit? Can I have some? Be your best friend. Honest, totally. Not even kidding. I'll give you one if I have one. Yeah, I'll trade you one. We've got to trade. Well, I found a lucky bullet this morning. Oh, cool. It's just a measly old 10 mil. But I know for sure it's lucky because it was sitting there all alone out of its clip and not fired off. Want it? <laughs> sure. Yay! Nuka Cola, Nuka Cola makes the stomach bubbly in the world so jumbly. Yay! That's why I feel when I drink soda. Which is di me daily. Hi, oh, Lucy. It makes me feel safer now. Sure, and let's. Excellent. I should be able to synthesize the proteins from this into something that'll fight rickets. Here's your fungus in return. So I think apparently, rickets you get from like lack of sunlight. Excellent. Or maybe lack of some minerals. But it makes sense that these uh, these kids would have rickets, considering they're in a cave. At least that's what the wiki said about them. And that was when you look up the fungus deal mini side quest. They're called repeatable quests. Uh, gives a little blurb on how giving her buff out is supposed to help with rickets and uh, and why that is. said my, it's player. Fuck. What? Megaton player house. No, I, for, this, I jinxed myself. So much fungus, among us. I prefer them to have all the human meat in their possession and, well, in their pools instead of in my possession. I feel like it's, uh, less of a weight on my conscience if I, if I gave it to them. And you know what? We, it was, there's, there's a benefit to it. We got the cave fungus, supposed to get rid of radiation, which is supposed to be kind of a novel thing in this game before the Point Lookout DLC came along with the punga fruit. Which also does the same thing. Force of habit to do all those. Um. Felt like there was something I wanted to put in here. I did want to put this in here. Um. Yeah, I will for now. You like point lookout best? Look out, it's very fun. I like it too. A lot of goofy stuff going on. Feels very. Feels like it fits right in with the Fallout wackiness. And it feels like. Oh, you get to keep the bottle cap schematic if you have too many already. That's neat. Because it didn't add to my uh, number of schematics. Okay, well, that's just a collectible now. Sweet. I feel like the environment for Point Lookout and like the setting doesn't feel Fallout, but it they they made it feel Fallout the way it the what they did with it. I think they they struck it really well there. In contrast, Zeta doesn't feel very Fallout to me. I mean, it's like wacky and stuff, but it just it, it kind of feels like how um kind of feels like they're making up for Anchorage or whatever. It's just, it's kind of like an Anchorage, but you get to keep the stuff when you leave. I mean, you get to get stuff at the end of Anchorage, too, but I don't know. Anchorage feels less, uh, less significant, I felt, than Zeta. Anyway, there's a, there's a lot of things people can say. A lot of meaningless, meaningless things you could say about Fallout. It's frivolous, stupid opinions. No one's gonna pay attention. <laughs> uh, I'm still sitting on 16 pounds of Yaogwai meat that I still never will eat. 
I need to just, like, bite the bullet and eat it all or get rid of it. It's just been a hole in my pocket this whole time. Cool. Pretty good. I want to sell one of those tri-beam rifles, but besides that, we're good. Let's do the fork in the... I've made that joke already. Let's go here. Oh. I want to, uh... Hold on a sec. I'll read a message. Just whispering sweet nothings into Maple's DMs. Okay. Hello. Oh, I hear a hey guy there. behind me. Sorry for the little break there. Oh, finally! We got rid of, we're done with the fungus. Oh, okay, now we are. Okay, now we are. <laughs> when I'm done with the buff out. Now I can't fast travel, got it. My science went up by two. All radiation removed. <laughs> okay, I think we're there. I think. I think we're all caught up, finally. Oh, nope. I'm detoxed. Who is shooting who? Oh my god. Yeah? Yeah? Auto-saving. Have discovered that location yet. Wow. We finally got... We finally caught up. Hmm. There's nothing I want to show him. Oh, yes, there is actually stuff I want to sell him. Cool. A nut. A nut. Okay, I'm just gonna go south. See what the, uh, this tower is like. There's all these satellites that I've never really explored before. What's going on? Who is that? Oh. I have 500 bullets in this thing. I'm ready. Oh, fuck. I dropped down. Oh, we got his legs pretty good. So I thought. There we go. Alright, and this is why we use the laser rifle instead. Another location there, I guess. I, I'm compelled to go to this one for some reason. I think it's just because it's directly south of me, so it feels like I'm clearing out this side of the map. I think there's like raider encampments usually inside of them. Everyone hold on, I'm gonna drink some soda. Everyone just... Oh, God. Can't believe people drink this. Ugh. Drinking some Dr. Pepper, strawberries, and cream. Zero sugar. It's very tasty. I feel like Dr. Pepper is like a gamer's choice of soda, right? Well, no, Mountain Dew kind of is, but I think so. I think Dr. Pepper works, too. I'm a little biased, though. Come on, raiders. Oh, that's not a raider. Okay. Well. 
with those raiders, I'd have a lot more fun. Guns are blazing. But nope. We're dealing with these guys. Oh, wait, no, that's a raider. Wait, what? No, no, that's Enclave. Loser ass Enclave. I thought that was uh, Super Mutant, actually. It's wrong. These guys suck. Satcom array. <laughs> okay. Doesn't mind too much. Oh, he actually went in there. Cool. Like when the NPCs interact with the environment like that. <laughs> what? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I didn't know about this, but that makes sense. That's... Okay, ever since the Enclave moved in, they like... <gasps> They took all the raiders, they they piled them up. Wow. That's fucked up. Just piled up in the corner. I mean, I guess that didn't lose out on anything, really. It's police batons. Knives. No, I, they, they, had, they were no match. Jeez. I feel like you can tell when I'm about to turn on my lamp, my, uh, flashlight. Just by my character, like, standing still half the time when I do it. Oh, good. Now I'm hidden. Gotta remember to put away my fists when I'm sneaking. It makes me faster. Hide this from me, huh? Try to. Oh. Actually, regular wastelanders who are used for projects. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. Reading about that. I do like how they drop fingers, now that I've got the perk. It's canonically bad boys. Uh-oh. I do this the hard way. Punched him in the bowels. Oh, vertebird. Is there any point in being in the bowl? It's that guy down there. Oops, I think I missed him. No, I didn't. I, <laughs> I love that reply. I've failed. Again, we never cheat in this on this game. In this stream, we never cheat on this game. Goodbye. No cheating allowed. Here's the guy. Never finished him off. Feel bad when I don't finish off a guy. You know that feeling. Pretty rude not to. Thank you, Riku. You understand. Okay. I'm feeling, feeling pretty confident that, like... Like, this whole region here 
this whole sweeping region is a part that I have not really played around with much. Maybe I'll... Yeah. I, I, okay, I've been to Fort Constantine, but besides that, I didn't go to these two. No, that's the pit. This is also related to the pit, too. This tower, actually. I think if I recall reading it correctly, after you do the pit, this tower becomes unaccessible. Like, it's not a location anymore for some reason. They take it off the map. I don't know why, but... So, we're going... Going this way. I'm gonna be crouched the whole time. Oh, my head's back. Where where your head at? Where's your head at? I can't music be like that anymore, huh? What's going on over here? Yagwai versus Scorpion. Yagwai versus Scorpion. No, it's not Yagwai. Rip. I thought the mole rat was a Yagwai for a sec. Okay, I feel like the fate of this place is, uh, whoa. It's probably the same as the other. Also, wow, is this just this? It's like stretch of land here. That's. I'm gonna try going into that pit, see if there's anything down there. Just this big, like, open crater of land where all these rocks are, like, making a valley. It's pretty epic. <laughs> I love when you quick save, your character, like, hops forward. And. Crouch. Oh god, I'm in caution. Now I'm in danger. Excuse me. Good. I may or may not be having a raccoon pizza party tonight, by the way. I may have a pizza. Oh, goodbye. And it may be little seabirds. Ugh. Who did this? Who do this? Who be there? Oh. No longer? Okay, good. Wastelander. Hmm. Let's see what lore we got here. Ooh. Entry log one. Uh, journal at software. User no entry. Uh, nothing says equality like a fistful of caps. I think these town company mercs are about the most cordial, smooth... Yeah, smoothies. Oh, I've met. Okay, this is a ghoul. A ghoul is writing this. As long as their boss is getting paid. Luckily, money's no issue. I've hoarded plenty of it up since before these guys parents were <laughs> knee-high on a Brahmin. Of course, okay, so they're a pre-war ghoul, too. Of course, if I succeeded in this, I wouldn't... It wouldn't matter how many caps any of these rat bastards have. Oh, Scruffy, hello. How have things been? It's been a while since I've had you... Since you found out. Nice to see you. Things have been going well with me. Been having lots of fun playing video games. You know. Of course, if I succeeded in this, it wouldn't matter how many caps any of these rat bastards have. Okay. So I guess she has a mission here. Thanks to... I, th I hope things have been going well with you, Scruffy. Uh, thanks to a little creative right wiring, I was able to tap us into a power source. They're less common up here, but if you know where to look, they are, they are still plenty of live power lines buried all over the wasteland. For all their arrogance, they knew a thing or two about engineering before the bombs. I have to admit, it's remarkable that there's still power to be had after all these years. That's cool. Uh, now that we've got all the power we'd want, I can bring 
our defensive turret online and try to get the dish monitor motors operational. Cool. Finally got to begin on my work in earnest today. Dish uh mot motivators are offline. Dish motivators are offline. But I was able to input some basic coordinates and ping nearby SATCOM arrays to the southwest and east. There are some there's some interference pinging the NNO3D array. Probably rad roaches or something making a nest on the dish in the dish all. Oh, it may be worth sending one or two of the mercs over there to clean it out in case I can use those towers to amplify my own signal. There were dozens of military satellites in orbit just from the old records I found in the ruins. There must have been hundreds before the war. If I can just if I can find just a few operational platforms, ooh. Wonder what they're trying to do. First attempts at atmospheric pinging returned to negative. Considering that the motivators are still non functional, it's going to be difficult to catch much of anything that doesn't pass directly over us. Still, I cannot rule out other mechanical failure. I haven't mu got much astronomical reference material with me, but maybe I can find an old chart and wait until a, a celestial body passes over to confirm signal. Of course, that may take years. I'll have to keep working on the motivators. This is a cool little journal entry. Uh, what a lucky break. I pinged an orbiting body successfully today. Registration ID is USDOD21TXH. Call sign High Water Trouser. I'll begin tracking it and cross reference the registration information with the data I've got. Turns out I don't have specific data on my satellite, but the registration format suggests that it's a stationary micro-nuclear weapons platform. Oh my god. Tracking data appears to confirm this. The thing hasn't moved in the week. I've been tracking it. Without a targeting platform on my disposal, at my disposal, sending an activation code would only cause it to drop a payload directly on top of this area. Not exactly what I'm aiming for, uh, but I'll keep the codes handy just in case. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Ooh. Cool. Okay, I'll keep her in mind. Or, I mean, let's see if I can pickpocket. Okay. Getting lucky. Not gonna press my luck. I'm gonna save. Steal them. Good. Wow. Cool. Well, those will be handy. Sounds funny. Oh, cool. Exposure. C cr cr crucible. Okay. It was crucible. I will never know. I'll never know what hit him. I'm just gonna. I'll deactivate actually. It's right when I choose to. But I'm feeling punchy this stream. And punchy doesn't go well with turret. Come on, I saw you walk up here. There you are. Hi. <laughs> Goodbye. Nice. Oh, hello. <laughs> no. Definitely still a guy up here. Did 
this last time. Yes. Oh. It's two beds up here. Okay. Oh shit, it's the satellite control. Mm. Goodbye. Poor guy. Oh, there's someone down there. There's always another one that spawns, that, like, underneath. Uh-oh. That's fine. I noticed that the last place I was at, there was, like, an Enclave guy that seemingly spawned underneath me. Or this is just, like, a disconnected area that you're supposed to, like, platform up to, I guess. Silly. Yeah, this is a different guy. Hmm. Cipher code. So, NN03 and NW07. Oops. Okay. Um. There. Just want to see where they'd be. Before I do it. Yeah, that's the clearest view over there. There's this over here? No. There's that other dish. Oh, wow. And I know three, yeah. There's three dishes over there. Place only has one dish. It's kind of hard to see. Yep. Okay. Well, I guess because that one's more spectacular to see, might as well see what it looks like. So, jump out and turn. Got it. Okay, let's try this. Let's save again. Oh fuck! Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Uh, and an O3. Or, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to, like, go on top. Also, I guess decipher... Oh! That's neat. That So the point of those two were to, like, just... Okay, just tell me where those locations are on the map if I was... If I cared to know. That's funny. So upload high water trouser activation. Commencing launch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm scared. Uh-oh. Oh god. Cool. Neat. That's fun. I if that got anyone. Why would I do that again?
Oh, you know, if you save right before you hit the ground, you won't. That's funny. I want to see it happen again. Where are they? Looks like they only trigger once. The game was like, no, nah, well, you had enough fun. Oh, there we go. Up. Oh. <laughs> cool. Okay, well that was fun. Wow. Sorry, I should have seen this coming, bud. I was right there after all. Been busy with work, but at least I'm making some money. Oh, great to hear, Scruffy. Glad things are going well with you. Busy and well. Rip. Not too intimidated by these robots. Oh, now I am. By these robots, as Zoidberg would say. I guess I'm gonna try discovering the tunnel. Oh, hi. Okay, you know what? Ow. You know what, though? Ow. How's that feel? Not good, I bet. Yeah, good luck aiming. Oh, did I ever... Did I ever go back? I think he just didn't talk about it, but... I, I think I recall going back and checking if, um... Going back to Underworld and seeing if Crowley actually cared, or whatever his name was. If he cared that I- oh god, what's going on back here? If he cared that I, like, won the armor, or got his keys. Oh, it's- okay. It's encampment. There's that guy, the Underworld guy, and then, uh, I was also wondering about Lucy from Bloodlines. I did try looking into her once before, but I was curious to see what happened with her, if she's anywhere. So we will try finding them. Again, this episode. Just quickly. To satiate my curiosity. That has been known to kill a cat. Unfortunately. Aw. Oh. Poor guy didn't even get to enjoy his junk food. Oh. Not if we can be friends anymore. I had a feeling Riku would react to that curiosity comment. Goodbye. 
They were clearly doing something sus in this corner. I don't know what they were doing. They clearly were comparing sizes. It's me and the bros comparing sizes. I want to go in that valley area too. There's so many things I want to do. I want to do it all. I want to do it big style. Big Willis style. Ooh, the pit. The Brad. Oh, these are all good guys. Relatively. I'm just gonna sneak here to get the location. I don't wanna... Maybe they're not good guys. They're, they're just passive is what I mean. They're not attacking me. Okay. So I will quick travel back here someday. I think they're slavers, so they're probably not good guys. I'm not 100% on that. 100% sure about that. Knowing the pit, do the pit though. I assume they are. And I'm running. doesn't want me going this way. Fallout does not like that I'm up here. Stay far away from that open place because it makes me like bump into it. An invisible wall. And a non invisible ball. Invisible. Now in stores. Or is it? <laughs> well, that definitely just phased into reality, right? I did not see that on the sky on the uh, horizon until now, but it did look like the trees, I guess. So maybe it was. I don't know. Little sus. Ooh, there's someone here. Pit Raider. Ow. Okay. Okay, I guess. I mean, if you really want to play it that way, oh, jeez. You were really green a second ago. Don't know what happened, but... for your help with those guys. Oh cool. They finally tracked me down. Snake Plitzkin. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? Well, I guess this started the quest, huh? <laughs> Came because the radio message. I I did Yeah, there was a message. Um we definitely heard it. <laughs> we'll listen to it again. Um The, yeah, I'll just say, sure. I mean, I, I do feel cocky, actually. Like, like you say, that I'm a better fighter than you. That's who. Can, can't can you handle a couple raiders? Yeah, whatever. I didn't come to DC to swap insults with wasters. <laughs> you want to flap gums, fine. But don't waste my time. Now, you came about the broadcast. You want to hear what I have to say about the pit or not? <laughs> yeah, fine. I was just kidding. Jeez. You're a real joker, aren't you? <laughs> whatever. Listen, I come from a place called the pit. 
It's a city far to the northwest. The place is a nightmare for, well, for so many reasons. Hmm. But the bigger problem is that my people are slaves. No big deal, right? It's a rough world. Who cares? But I have a chance to free them. I just need an outsider's help before we lose that Ooh. chance. Did you escape or something? Yeah. That's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. Oh. So I ran. I know about you the cure. I'm damn sure there'll be more of them coming. I've heard them before. Cure for what? The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air, you can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. Hmm. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. Yeah, what do we need first? Well, you might, try might be e disguise. eating pizza right now. You probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Hmm. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. These guys are not. I should rescue those slaves. Whatever. Just get hmm. the outfit off of one of them while you're playing hero. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. Then we'll head out to the pit. Hmm. Oh, you don't wait. You can't hear the. Oh. Well, fine then. Oh no! I'll grab the shit first. Now nah, let's not have pit armor. It's metal armor, which should have been better than it was against my laser stuff, but whatever. Raider commando armor. Ooh. Seems more special than usual. He's just enjoying a nice smoke. Nope, he's, he has a gun. Okay, I want to reload because... Oh, well. Just want to read, hear it, listen to the radio. Oops. Oh, and it crashed. Okay, well. No problem. We don't get mad about that sort of thing. We've all played a Bethesda game before. Well, I'm here. Excuse me. Okay. To anyone who can hear me, my name is Werner. I come from a settlement to the north. I have information of great value to anyone willing to help me free my people. Please, help us. This message repeats. Yeah. To anyone who can okay. hear me, my name is Werner. I come from a... Neato. I can't reactivate it. Okay, well, that's the, uh... That's the pit going on there. I'm gonna stay here and prepare. If they already found me, they'll be back again. Hmm. We're counting on you. Okay, so... We'll play around there later on. But first, we're, uh... 
still wrestling with the unknown in the wasteland. Like here. Who knows what's over here? You know, there's red little dots everywhere. Oh. Ooh, a super mutant. Oh, no, that's a Deathclaw fighting a, uh... Fighting one of those mechs. One of those robots. Protectron ass. Oh, this place is still raided up. Nice. Oh, I didn't even... Did I? Okay. I did I did repair stuff in this timeline. Uh you. Bye. Oh. Poor guy couldn't even get a drink from the fridge. I wish I could have done something to prevent that. Sorry, just the way it had to be. It's the natural progression of things here. <laughs> Told him to dance. Let's see if the spikes. Nope, can't repair it. Dang. Just won't repair. I get that mothership Zeta repair gel if I want to repair these, it looks like. I'm glad in Fallout New Vegas they had repair kits. Those are nice. Nice feature to gameplay. I wonder if there's another box right there like last time. Ah! Made him do the splits. No! Oh, great. My greed. Oh, pretty. Pretty lights, lots of bodies. Let no one see it, what happened. Nice little snipper. Good old snipper clips. Wow. Cool. This place is cool. The fact that this place is full of raiders made me think that's that's why I thought the other place was gonna be like Raider City or full of raiders too. Oh hi. Oh I didn't even know you can walk between them, that's cool. Wow. Whoa. People be drinking out here. Environmental storytelling for you. World class Bethesda storytelling for your environments. Oh. World and master class, even. Everyone's favorite. Whoa. 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 Hold on now. Hold, hold, the, hold the phone. Now this was a surprise. Oh. Hello. Whoa. They're a little smushed together, but I get the gist. Wow. Well, I can't- I can't remove any of these. These are like- this is too special. Here, wait, let me- I reload this area. See if it helps. 
No, I guess they're all smushed together like that. But dang, wow. What a nice little set piece. Here I was joking a second ago about environmental storytelling and then I'm like floored by this cute little set of mini gnomes. I mean, they are good at environmental storytelling. They've like, they like wrote the book on it. But it's just fun to dog them every so often. Mr. Triple A. Mr. Triple A Company. Sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna be dogging on him. Like, you give me a, an opportunity and I'm gonna dog. Speaking of dogging on. Time to hot dog all this stuff to, out of here. What? It's like tied for the same amount of damage. Those ones that I just dropped. eating this food. Been hurting. For some snacks. There we go. Cool. Goodbye. Aw, oh, teddy bears. Maybe doing Jet and Psycho, oh no. Okay, they were making drugs here, clearly. Clearly this is a meth lab. Someone call the local sheriff. Sheriff, sheriff, I found me a meth lab on my property. Goes goes on. My heart will go on. Ooh. Grave Robin. National pastime. Ah. Scared me. At least he could, he could tell it was coming after I bumped into him. Ooh. Oh. So I guess normally you couldn't get in this way. Didn't have the stats for it. Nice connected bathroom. I swore there was someone walking by. Lots of alcohol. If there's anyone you can blame it on. It might be the alcohol. <laughs> That's how the song should have gone. Alcohol. Blame it on the. Instead of emphasizing the ah 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 ah, should have emphasized the ha ha. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Tag you're it. Oh, I didn't mean to pick those up, really. Also, I think that's everyone in this area. Wow. Can I do it for a third time, folks? I can't. Yeah. Just want to do some motorcycle tricks in here. <laughs> it gives it more of a drunk slur sound to it. I like it. I'm glad you think so, Scruffy. Alcohol. <laughs> they could really blame it on the alcohol. I've been here before. Cool. Suspicious if I've actually been here. Okay, I think I have, yeah. Okay. This reservoir. Hmm. I think I recall. Oh my god. Another fight between... Deathclaw and a rad scorpion. Something going on here. Is the raider going to lose to that, really? No, you didn't. Good work. Here's your prize. Oh. Nah, right when they were smoking. Need that finger, thank you. Fine. I'm gonna get up and they might find me, but that's fine. Two ashtrays. So they call me Johnny Two Ashtrays. Ow! 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 Oh, that one got me. Ow! <laughs> My character. Oh! Ah. Um. Ow. Oh. Oops. I don't think there's much to find in this area. <laughs> Except finding glory in, in glorious battle. Finding victory in glorious battle. Hmm. <laughs> Reclining Grove Resorts Homes. Don't know if I've been there much. Poor guy. He was onto something, though. Fast traveling is such a death sentence in late game. Just you'll always come across something that's, like, max level. Just roaming around. Okay, I think I've, like, messed around a little bit in this area. There's probably nothing I really care about too much here. Let's give it a little sweep, I guess. Oh, nice. Their death claw. Nope, it's a rad. I've definitely been here. Yeah, okay. Gave this place a sweep last time. Somewhat of a sweep. Come on, please. Okay, fine, I'll go around. You beat me. You've beaten me to a pulp. To a pulpit. Oh, well, that that iBot is dead. <laughs> I 
Pretty sure I've explored the greener pastures disposal site. I, th I think there was a uh, bobblehead there. Ooh. Explore this place well enough, I guess. Oh, these, there's some guys here. Oh, here they are. Here's this. Here he is. Been like battle music engaged this whole time, waiting for him to get to me. Come on, <laughs> he's stuck behind a tree. In a tree. This thing is not going down. Ow. <laughs> that claw was having trouble. Yep. Don't know if I'll explore the barn house, though. Behold. Welcome to the barnyard. Welcome back to the barnyard. Man, I, I just wish the only cartoons that existed were Back to the Barnyard and Fanboy and Chum Chum. I wish there was no other cartoon except those two. <laughs> Who here wants to make a Discord server and just marathon that 24-7? I know I do. What was Nickelodeon thinking? I mean, Back to the Barnyard is pretty funny and, like, iconically memeable in many ways, and also retroactively trans in a fun way. Fuck. Why would you need anything else? <laughs> Stuff Kino in the world. What does that mean? Forgot what that meant. I'm not I'm not that pilled at the moment. That's cool, there's a book inside that. They really tried with this model. This like burnt out bus model that they put everywhere. There's like the geometry on the inside is so Awkward to actually maneuver in. So they really tried something there by putting that little box in there. AKA peak is how you describe Kino. Okay. That's enough <laughs> peak in the world. I would say that is the pinnacle of animation. Wait, no, I mean, you can add... What am I saying? You can add, um... You can add Jimmy Neutron in there, too. I'm just thinking of, like, really awkward 3D animation of the time. There's always, like... I feel like Jimmy Neutron was probably the best out of those three. I mean, who am I kidding? Yeah, it was, but... I mean, I, but I meant, like, best in the, the sense of, like, animation. Like, the way they, like actually move the characters in Fanboy and Chum Chum and uh, Back to the Barnyard. There's these like moments that they try like emulating. What am I looking, I'm looking for? They try emulating like the animation style of 2D by like making them squash and stretch a lot in those two. And especially they try to like zip the characters around the screen really hard like a 2D animation would. Like, like there's, there's like <laughs> it seems like there's staples of 2D animation in both of them that just didn't translate properly. At least that's my impression when you look at it. it I will be fair though, I have not given Fanboy and Chum Chum as much cred as much of my 
my waking hours as I have back to the barnyard and Jimmy Neutron. I put a lot of hours into barnyard when I was a kid. And way more into Jimmy Neutron, so... So there's that, um, I'm sorry to say. There's no hope for me. It's so over. Okay, I think I've- I feel satisfied that I've explored most of the things that I've- I've, uh, discovered. Maybe I haven't done the five axles rest stop? I forget. But most of the things here, yeah. I've- I've- I feel like I've thoroughly explored most of them. I'm just gonna try lightening my load here. Then we'll get to fast traveling out of here. Out of here. I'm not a Bostonian, I swear. You can tell I'm not. <laughs> Outed for being Bostonian. I like <laughs> saying Bostonian sounds like you're saying like Estonian or something. Sounds like a country. Or, like, a nationality. I am Bostonian. I'm a proud Bostonian. Glory to our Bostonia. My favorite part of the game. Try Mari RTs. All this drinks Come on. in the cat a little. It's taking him like twelve hours to say his whole Moriarty's bit. Wasteland. Ben! Oh my god, what is happening? Stop putting up your dukes. I've waited a whole day here. No one's came. What is this? <laughs> Where are they? Are they all dead? Did the Enclave killed them all? Hello? Thank you. Welcome. Here to see the good doctor? Tell me what Good. you need, and maybe I've got your fix. Good. Good. If I sold more nuka, I'd be buying it. Flying off the shelves, but you don't. Gotta tease me like that. Gotta be a tease, Doc. Make me chase you around, Doc. Don't like it when you tease me. Don't like when you play games with me. Sure. What the good doctor has in his magic bag. If, if you, Shall we? If you, you better. That sounds like a hollow promise. Okay, if you're gonna be playing around like that, you better, you better, you know, commit. Okay, doc. Stop joking around and you know, let's do this. Talking about a magic bag, huh? Okay. Think you don't know what that means? Clearly, you're coming on to me. Oh, so many rad scorps. Do 
Don't know why I sold Pre War money, but that's fine. It was the first thing that I saw. <sighs> I remember really liking Camp Laszlo as a kid, but I feel like if I went back to it, I wouldn't be able to stand it very long. I feel like it was very, um. hyper, possibly. I don't know how well I. How well I would receive that humor nowadays. Clear. That sort of like really high energy kid humor. The gate. I was very last low pilled as a kid. I was gym partner as a monkey pilled. I was squirrel boy pilled. I was. Stop taking all these pills! <laughs> you feel that with my gym partner was a monkey? Yeah, it, it felt like very high energy. Back in the day. It's like a high energy that like, I feel like for a long time, a lot of people who didn't watch Adventure Time, they assumed it was like on the same level. Well. I feel like Adventure Time is a, their high level, high energy is way less high energy than like, than like Gun. the t the 20s, the 20s, the Negative 2000s time. cartoons. Town around. Like when those got high energy, those got like, like unbearably high energy. <laughs> When Adventure Time does it, it's like, Here. like Finn is screaming for like a sec in the episode. He's he's like going, "Oh my god!" like excitedly. What? But when it came to like the stuff and like like Ed and Eddie and stuff, it just I feel like they it overstayed its welcome way more than it did in like Adventure Time. But anyway, enough enough about comparing cartoons. Am I right, folks? I'm not some sort of nostalgic reviewer now. You're watching some chowder. That shit was making me laugh. Them jokes still hold- Yeah, I bet they do. They were all like somewhat adult back in the day. Especially chowder. Chowder was very clever. I liked chowder as a- as a youngin as well. I think I would- if I went back to that, I would also find it a very fun time. Okay. I think it might be time soon, folks, to, uh, to go to the vaults. There's two vaults I want to go to in this episode if I can. If we have the, have the time to, damn. Time just flies by when I'm playing Fallout. Just having too much fun. Too much fun for one raccoon. Uh. God damn, 95 cameras. Who, who let this happen? Who let the dogs out? Let me stop referencing Mitt Romney. Okay, sorry folks, I was, uh, checking my phone. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of messages I haven't seen. Whoa. Hold on a sec, I'm, I'm having fun talking to friends. Am I supposed to be streaming right now? Is that, is that what you think of me? You think of me a streamer? No, I'm 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 a person who uses my phone to talk to pretty ladies. Hold on, just sh shut up. Hold on. I'm busy. Just shut up.
Teacher is on his phone. <laughs> He's not talking about chowder. When you have a, a hot cow to talk to, then get back to me. Okay? Some of us have hot cows in their area to DM. Okay, so anyway. Oh, look, a soda. See, if I was like, if I was like in front of a camera, no one would be complaining about me spending 20 minutes on my phone. They'd be like, oh, that's so me for real. And I, then they'd open up their phone and also be looking at shit. Where was I going to go? <laughs> um. Oh, yes. Me putting my mouse in this area reminded me. There, there is minefield, yes, but also um, this one little town that's like not this little village area that's not like shown on the map. Uh, okay. Not at all where I thought it was. Uh huh. Um. Had a hard time locating it. Evergreen. No bandit. Yep. Place disposal. National campground. Okay, it's right here. Setting my marker there, but also I want to go back up here for a sec. Oh, did everyone respawn? What is this? What's going on? It looks like everyone did. So I'm just gonna try jumping down here. How did everyone respawn that quickly? What the hell? This place got taken over by a different tribe. People. My death claw. Yeah, there is something down here. Wanted to explore this like this valley area. I guess was a, a a river at one point. Oh hello. Enclave people. Didn't know you were here. Whoa. I'm just an observer. Whatever shit goes down, have fun. Ooh. By observer, I mean I'm gonna try beating the shit out of them if I can. Yeah. Goodbye. Vertebird. I think I've read that the vertebrates don't actually drop people yeah. off. It's just like. It's just like, uh, just a little visual effect. It's like usually when you see the vertebrate pass by, then you'll see Enclave people nearby. I don't think it actually causes yeah. them to spawn. Might be wrong. I think that's what I read, though. It's not like they drop out of it. Maybe they do later on, though. Just not in these little situations. What the fuck happened? Saw so just a band of, of, of a giant black line just draw across the screen for no reason. So someone got stretched too thin. Like butter over too much bread. Um, I'm just gonna cheat.
Now look, I'm here. I made the jump. Bonk. She bonk, she bonk. She also float like an angel. In a something world. I forget the lyrics of Creep. You float like an angel. In a something world. Something along with that, that line. So effing special, yeah. but I'm a silly guy. I'm a comedian. Oh my god, has anyone made the parody of I'm a creep, but with being I'm a comedian? If not, oh my god. <laughs> my parody career is just about to start, folks. Oh. But I'm a silly guy. <laughs> I have to be subconsciously remembering that. Someone just replaced the lyrics of I'm a creep with just comedian things. Specifically, like... I mean, I know I'm saying, like, I'm a silly guy, but the, the lyric should probably be I'm a... I'm a comedian. <laughs> Okay, let's workshop this, folks. We, we'll do. I'll be one of those type of streamers who just makes music on stream. You get to watch the process, but instead of it being music, it'll be parody, which is not music. Oh my god, you heard a version with Gat Rizzler and mewing, and you hate it so damn much. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh no. I can imagine it. That's amazing. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> A version of creep with that is just what's tickling me so much. Just thinking about, like... <laughs> that... Wrapped around that song. I am very based in Ohio. I am of that mind. Let me see if I can DM you a link of it on Twitter. Thank you. Please do. Please. <laughs> okay, here's a little unmarked village, by the way. Just here. Along the, uh... Around the, j the big, uh... Big highway. Nestled along is this little village. Don't know if you can enter any of these buildings. Also, I feel like this building makes appearances in Fallout New Vegas. These sheet metal ones. <sighs> you think you have it saved, oh god. Hopefully. But if not, I'll forgive you. Who? Who's here? You can't enter them. Oh, come on, guys. I'm sorry, we have to do this. Didn't know this was going to be a hostile place. Bring it. Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> That's really sad to see. A punch beating a block from a baseball bat. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> it would definitely hurt your hand more than the bat, but whatever. Well, how, like, I don't know how. I know what my stats are like. What am I saying? Yeah, this is a pretty sprawling town, actually. Man, I still have minefield to do.
Scruffy, would you stick your gat out for the Rizzler? I'm so glad I got to say that in this stream. It's like a little time capsule of where we are in history. People know this is uh, past the point where Gat and Rizzler were a thing. It's like AD and BC, pretty much. The thing signifying it, though, is the uh, the horrible trends of <laughs> the TikTok lately. We're, we're a little bit late on it, but not that late. Just a little late on it. Trying to explore all the stuff that's outside first before I go into the buildings. That's my method. I'm sticking to it. That's my method. Oh. Damn, there's a few of them, actually. Is really one back there? Uh, no, that's that way. Yeah, that's where I would imagine there are more. Yeah, okay, let's go here first. I had a feeling I wouldn't find much in here, but no, this is, uh, quality stuff. I I... Did I pick up the... I did pick up the laser rifle, okay. I heard a pickup noise, and I wasn't sure where it, what item it was at first. Whoa. That can cover? Bingo, bango, bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. I refuse to go. The Congo. Where? Yeah, it'll it'll sort itself out. It's fine. Whatever. I'm just so done with hearing that noise out in the wasteland. Like, okay, yeah, there are robots out here for no good reason, for no good dang old reason. It, it's so it's so like, like RPG reason to have them out there. It's so not like contextual. It feels. Because, like, there's no, like, story-based reason for the robots to be roaming out the wastelands. It just feels like a, an RPG thing. Like, oh, it's an enemy type. Okay, it's out there. Sure, why not? There's no way that, like, bus is openable, is it? If it is, I'll be very surprised. Openable. Lots of junkyard trader. Oh, hi. Uh-oh. Whoa. Sure, I mean, if... If, mm. if he doesn't attack me, I won't attack him, okay? It's like I'll never... I was never here. I'll just, ha you know, learn that all of his food was taken. And sold. Can't let you keep that now. Really didn't want to bother these guys, so... Just wanted to check out an unmarked location. These buses always make me think you can walk on them. Just that door looks like it's... ...interactable. Interior actable crocodile Chevrolet Theater. I saw that rad scorpion. I chose not to engage. <sighs> Sweet. Oh, this is one of the big places I haven't discovered yet, and I've, I don't think I've ever explored it. The Roosevelt Academy. Academy. Faded pomp. Estates. Silver lining dive. Oh, drive in. Drowned Devil's Crossing. Mason Dixon Salvage. 
That's funny. Cliffside Shacks. Fuck it. Hello. We're doing it. We're going to the cliffside tracks if we can. Um, I'm gonna do a little save. See if I can cross off any of my my Fallout tabs as they're known. Uh, radio tower, sure. Cross that off. Priceless building, cross that off. Okay. Fungus steel, cross that off. The Geomapper module. I have that tab open just to remind myself that I could put it away. Put it away, but it feels it feels good in my inventory, you know? You know that feeling? I need to talk to Lucy. I want to mention, there is a story that... Okay, I have a tab open just to mention this part. Um, so there's a side on Marked Quest called Happy Birthday to You. We we met a guy in Little Lamplight named Sticky. He gives you like a party hat and the location of Big Town technically, if if you somehow did not go there first. But um it's like he's a Mongo. He he's like uh one of the kids in Little Lamplight that got that grew out of being able to be there. He turned sixteen, says the wiki. So uh yep, you see him, you have, you bring him there. Um what was the thing? Let's see here. It's behind the, the scenes thing. Yeah, so, okay, here's the fun thing. During the trip, Sticky talks quite a bit, sometimes making up stories, presumptuously choosing at random. His stories follow a mad lib template. Similar story re stories repeat, with only about half the words changed. You can either put up with it or tell him to shut up or kill him. This holds no karma loss. Interesting. But that's the thing I want to mention. I think he can um tell him to zip it and he'll say no, you zip it. <laughs> Continue various phrases until you choose the I'm not playing this game option. Interesting. No caps rewarded, even though he promises. The neat, the thing I wanted to get at was it's neat that like he auto generates a story apparently. Just reading up a little bit more on it. Entertain the player with insane stories and prattles. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, so it, it, um, stories. Yeah, so there's a first part, a second part, a third, and a fourth part. He says, like, once upon a time, there was a dog, a robot, or a, this man. This dog, this robot, or this man. Then he'll say, his name was Super Duper Dave, and he went all around rescuing people from super mutants and slavers and other nasty things. Or his name was Jokey Joe, and he always... <laughs> making he was always making people laugh really hard at his funny jokes or his name was holy toledo and he was really powerful uh then there's a beefy third part get ready to hear all these options folks we're reading in the silence of no fallout music uh the third part of the story is and was a brave hero scared no not at all he laughed in the face of danger ha 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 he beat up the monsters and everyone cheered or he says, and was our so-called hero scared? You bet he was. He cried like a little boy. Wah, wah, wah. And all his friends laughed at him. Or he says, and what did our hero do, you wonder? He came up with the most cleverest of clever plans, and it worked, and everyone called him a genius. And then the fourth part that ends it is the end. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Or the end, or the end. That's all, folks. Quote, notable quotes. Uh, <laughs> you can actually click on these on the Wikipedia and they'll say it. That's so silly. Notable quotes. Are you lost? Are we there yet? Why is this taking so long? These these audio files are really crisp on the Wikipedia for Sticky. 
again sticky the the kid who outgrew little lamplight and so you have like a little side mission to take him to big town if you want but neat okay getting rid of those tabs gave that story i just thought it was neat that he has like an ad lib style conversation tree seems pretty unique okay so i haven't been there yet but one of the big places i got i'm going to go to eventually will be the capitol building I never actually encountered the Capitol building in this playthrough or in past playthroughs. I've never, it's just a location I never really had to go to. I have a tab open for sheet music because I have an interest in collecting all the sheet music. You can only you give one to Agatha, but it's worth, I don't know, it's fun that there's multiple spawning points. So I think it'd be fun to try collect them, collecting them all for our room. I have a tab for Roosevelt Academy. Uh, oh, this is one I might want to do actually. Okay, so I'm going to look, so I have Lucky West, Lucy West, that's a tab, and Crumpled Up, Crumpled Note, which apparently there's like a crumpled note in Moriarty's Tavern. I'm going to go actually take care of those two tabs first. I want to see if I can uh, do some stuff here. Oh, what was the other stuff I wanted to do? I know I want to talk to the... Oh my god, there's so many things I want to do. I know I want to talk to the guy in in the underworld today, again. Sir. Um, I'll see if I can tell Lucy that her brother is an Arafu. I think I might have in a past stream, but... Just checking if Lucy's still around. Hi, Lucas. Hi, Moriarty. It's hovering around. Don't mind me. You right, Lucy. You right, Lucy. Hey, talk fast. They hate it when I talk to customers. Whoa. God, I saved him or something. Kind of. I mean, he still has a collar. Yeah, honey. What are you doing? I know you've turned me down before. Oh, man. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. Aw. Thanks, Gob. I'm glad you think I'm a friendly face. Sure thing. Cool. See you. Okay, I don't see Lucy in here. I think it's... Where is it? You're sweet, Jericho. You really are. The Cohen says the things between us are best kept on a professional level. If it were up to me... Nah, and it's okay, Nova. I get it. No one wants anything to do with a crusty old wasteland rat like me letting their kids... Dang, I really don't know where it is. Um, quick save. Crumpled paper. This is a tricky note to get a hold of, says the Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like right in here normally, but I might have either took it already or, or it's fine that I can't find it, but it's just interesting. There's an object here. Let me read the Wikipedia for it. Crumpled note is a paper note in Fallout 3. Location. It can be found in the Brass Lantern in Megaton and permits access to the terminal at that location. The note is jammed in the corner of the terminal room behind the chair closet closest to the corner. However, the chair and the wall overlap the note, making it almost unreachable. The most accessible way to receive the note is to stand on the chair, crouch and look down in the corner, aim at the joist or frame in the corner which covers the note. It's a really awkward location. I don't even think it's there anymore. I might have taken it like really early on too. I'm pretty sure I did. It comes up as like brass lantern password in my notes. I might have like just forgotten I picked it up to be fair. Or it just despawns.
Does it come up as Brass? Wait, what did it say? The name is Brass Lantern Password. I'm just gonna delete that tab. Don't really need it. Yeah, if I don't find it, it's not the end of the world. Medical analysis of West corpses. The bodies of the West have bite marks on their necks. Yep. Sugar bomb rush. Get sugar bombs for the guy. Vespertilio. Merchant contract. I blank here to for recognize the as the investor. Do agree to the following. Oh, this is for the caravan stuff. After negotiating with Ernest Uncle Rowe of Canterbury Commons, an alliance has been struck with the caravan merchants of the Capital Wasteland. As their manager, Rowe will oversee their inventories and investments. The inv investor may dedicate, dedicate di dictate each merchant's specialties and invest in their wares for improved quality goods. This contract is legally binding it is in so much as it can be enforced by a hired mercenary with a gun and no sense of humor. Silly. Note from Pronto. Okay, look. Here's how it is. I need some better stuff to trade or else I'm never going to get anything worthwhile in this place. Bring me some Chinese assault rifles. Say, about 20. I should be able to get some better stuff to sell in to sell you after that. Like I told you, man, I don't fucking know where it came from. But it freaks the boys out. Some story from a while back about a stranger with no name. Just get rid of the damn thing. Ain't no good gonna come from keeping it around. Besides, if it is his, hmm. maybe he'll come back for it. Comprende? Was a reference to a little webcomic that I think Penny Arcade made for Fallout 3 or something like that. Some cross promotion. And that's the note that was on a, a jumpsuit with 7 7 on it. Alt 77. I think it's a reference to that. I'm pretty sure. Medical power armor manual. Um, MP 47A, a medical power armor. Or medical power armor. Security clearance G required to read this manual. Currently in prototype, the MP-47A medical power armor, referred to as medical armor here for after, hereafter, <laughs> again another hereafter, is designed to protect the soldier in the field and serve as an automated medic. To pro the prototype unit only has medics delivery system. The production unit will include stim packs and other injectables. Yummy. These are requirements for medic, medical, medic armor stated that even a child should be able to use it without reading this manual. Therefore, an onboard computer system with verbal feedback response systems have been in, has been installed. The soldier in the field puts the armor puts on the armor and the armor does the rest. It automatically senses the limb condition of the soldier and applies medics only if needed. If the defense contract is extended, the onboard computer system will be enhanced to provide command level data to field officers. A special self destruct will deliver a lethal injection to, to deserters. <laughs> Until the contract is extended, these systems remain offline for now. I do have that power armor. It automatically applies medics, as it mentioned. It's pretty cool. Riley 9090. Cool. Riley Ranger location. I'm just finishing up, just reading these, uh, all these notes I've never fully read. To get to the stranded ra raider rangers, Riley said, I have to enter Our Lady of Hope Hospital and make my way to the second floor. From there, I have to take a fallen radio antenna bridge, cross the street into the Stateman's Hotel, second floor, and then work my way to the roof. Yeah, I, that would have been more useful to read back in the day. Password to the ranger compound. Password is Ranger Compound, or the Ranger Compound is Riley0247. All these directions to the Stateman Hotel. Using the Metro Tunnels, head north from here to Metro Central. Then look for a tunnel 
to the D du DuPont Circle Station. Exit from DuPont Circle Station into the dry sewers. And follow Our Lady of Hope. Follow to Our Lady of Hope Hospital. Neat. Shipping computer login. Password for the shipping computer in the Nuka Cola bottling plant is that. Quantum distribution details. Yep, I read this on a computer a while ago. Just go to those places. That old only grocery store one. You find that in like a truck on the way there. Mississippi quantum pie recipe. Sierra Pev Petrovita of Girder Shade. Told me ingredients for the pie. Flour, vodka, and Nicola Quantum. Wasteland Survival Guide. Whoa. Lead author and subject matter expert, Starfoam Raccoon. It's me. Assistant assistant author, Moira. This indispensable guidebook contains everything that a survivor in the wasteland could need to know. Every page contains a gem of brilliant insight into how to survive in the wastes, thrive among its denizens, and receive your survivor and revive your survivor community. This brilliant tome not only conveys vital information for the here and now, but represents it in such a intelligent manner that readers are inspired for the future. <laughs> it got cut off. Interesting. National Archive security password. We the people. Lol. Archive security terminal. Cool. Virgo to lander, lunar lander. Nice. Like it. Can I? Okay. Washington Monument access. Due to compromised security, the password for the terminal that controls the Washington Monument entry gate was recently has recently been changed. The new password is now Renfield. Paladin bearing second monument defense detachment. Earn your share. Nice job, Jigs. I knew you'd remember the good old days. Yep. Okay. I read that on a terminal. Dr. Lee. Wow. Okay, cool. Wow. We're all caught up. Everything's been grayed out. Just the way I like it. Nope. Yep. What's up, Jericho? Yeah, whatever. You, uh, want a drink? Looking as... Looking as free. Hey, don't mind the smoke. Sale. What you got? What you got? Really nothing. I like those. Good hunting. I repair some junk on my own. Don't These oh, have to hey. be worth more together. They were, I think. Cool. Good hunt. Buy anything. Don't buy anything. Get out of here. Oh, there she comes. Then she's coming around the mountain, won't she? Here. You Thank you. Division. You'll be coming around the mountain. Hey, what can I get you? Nuka. Manuka. Almost forgetting, so let's not forget this time. Let's double check the neat thing. If uh if this guy has any reaction to me not having done his thing. Hello. Oh, it's Fox. Oh, 
I just want to see if the guy to shoot him in the head guy cares. I didn't do his quest. Enjoy your stay. I really do remember coming back hey here. I just want to be sure. Charon. Charon. Charon on a chair. There he is. You stole what was rightfully mine. Get lost. <laughs> okay, great. I win. We hardly ever get human. Oh, hello, my boy. You've come back for more. Oh, it's the watch. Okay, sure. Yeah, just east of here. Some freed slaves just occupied it. Yeah. We trade with them occasionally. Cool. Really now. Let's see if. Oh, Three Duck was talking about the Wasteland Survival Guide. I'm curious to see if uh if the Washington Monument has changed since I helped them out. Washington Memorial. Oh pooch. Four score. Oh, there's little tents everywhere. Ooh. Snackies. Yeah. Nice. Lots of nuka. Been hurting. I've been hurting. Ben canning. And being chilling. I couldn't help myself. Why is John Cena so shilled for for China? <laughs> you can have your teddy bear. I'll let you keep that at least. I know that's the most valuable thing here. Not the food. Yes. You've come to see us. How sweet. <laughs> How naive. Limkin? Whoa. I can actually read this. Abraham Lincoln. Oh. oh, he's the 16th president. That's neat. Didn't know that. Lincoln warned the South that his inaugural... In his inaugural address, in your hands, my dis, dissatisfied fellow countrymen... In, in your hands, my dissatisfied fellow countrymen... And not in your hands and not in mine is the momentous issue of civil war. The government will not assail you. You have no cat oath registered in heaven to destroy the government, while I shall have the most sol solemn one to pre pre preserve, protect, and defend it. Okay. I'm glad God's on it on Abraham's side. I mentioned this not too I mean, well, it actually was a long time ago. Now it's almost been three months. Everyone's grateful for what you've done for us. Thank you. Um you're welcome, I meant to say. Um like I mean, he cared, of course, for you know you know, he, he definitely helped a lot with making, you know, with abolishing slavery, but apparently, uh, apparently history doesn't, like, there are history writings that don't look too kindly on his decision with, um, with how he went about, like, the Civil War, where he, um, apparently Lincoln, like, very politically chose to, to make the Civil War about, like, the, uh, the abolishment of slavery halfway through the Civil War. Which I wasn't aware of. He, he apparently he didn't like jump into the Civil War thinking that he was more concerned about just like keeping the country unified at first, but then as the war went on, he realized how important it was that you know 
the abolishment of the, the status quo, I guess, at the time the, to, to abolish slavery that was. But from what I've, you know, heard from YouTube videos and other YouTubers apparently corroborating it recently, because, like, I was reminded of this the other day. It seems that he didn't originally get into the war to, uh, you know, <laughs> abolish slavery, apparently. It's great to see you again. But he sure did in the end, so... I am most honored to see you again, sir. There he is. Our boy. Oh, they even have the inscription. He he chiseled in the the missing words. Amen. This temple. As in the hearts of the people for whom he saved the Union. It, he... The memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. Wow. Nice work, guy. I'm not gonna read all this, but oh god. It's it's almost there. It's almost not blurry enough to read. But in its current state, it is too blurry to read, it seems. Hi, bro. I am most honored to see you. Our abolitionist hero. Yo. Life is much better for Animal. us here than it was in the wasteland. We're better armed and better fed. And the raiders are just the super mutants are just over there across the bay. Well, they said they're better armed, so I guess that means they'll, they're will they fine with dealing with them. Somehow they're better fed out here. Don't know how. Or in, I guess not out here, but whatever. Um. I think I've been to all these, but... Curious comics. What's the outside of that like? Yeah, this is where I read the fun fan comic. Or, not fan comic, fan, uh, letter. I didn't know this was an exit, though. Okay. Sorry, guys. You don't know what's about to happen. more people out there. Nah, I don't see movement. Just like Ninja on, on New Year's Eve that one fateful year. I do not see enough movement. Xandria Arms, have I been here? What was in this? I think I might have discovered this location, never went in. That's kind of the gist of what we're trying to do here in Fallout 3. Just, just look at all the places we haven't really discovered. Um. This isn't familiar, but... Oh, is this one of the places that... This is part of the, uh... Was this part of the, the Riley quest? I don't think so. Is someone still here? Okay, well, I think we found our next location. I was going to go to that cliffside place a while ago, but it's, it's like, marked. It's marked in a way that, like, I wouldn't... I wouldn't confuse that I haven't gone there yet. Alexandria Arm, on the other hand. Arms, that's, that's a place that I could confuse I haven't gone to yet. I feel like I haven't gone here either. Aw, oh, damn. I know I haven't gone inside of Tacoma Industrial yet, have I? Oh, I don't think I ever did. I went to C Tacoma Park. I know that, but I don't... I thought there was, like, a time where I thought I was going to go back, but I don't know if I ever did. I, I might have, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm going to uh, fast travel there, but also Rock Creek Caverns I'm pretty sure I never went to. Don't think I ever went inside this place, though. No, I'm pretty sure I didn't. Wait, this looked kind of familiar. <laughs> I'm just gonna sneak around here, double check. 
I was definitely out here, I know that. Nope. Nuh-uh. Never did that, okay. I may be looking up, or maybe on the Wikipedia right now. Alexandria Arms. Yeah. I never explored the interior of it, looks like. Alexandria Arms. Yep. Wow. We're sure our little Fallout explorers, aren't we? Weird. Some notes about Alexandria Arms. Uh, some of the queen-sized beds in the suites give well-rested effect. Here you know, I thought this whole time I was going to be doing some fallout, or fallout, some shelter, shelters, some vaults. Damn. I'll be doing some vaults, but looks like I'm not. Looks like I got fully distracted exploring all the other stuff I didn't explore. You know what? I'm I couldn't I wouldn't have it any other way. Until I play my Fallout. And we like it that way, don't we folks? That's how we like our Fallout. Rip the guy with the baton. Rip. Wow. Don't choke on that. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. So cordial about it. Hello. Okay, we've Tacoma at this park for a little bit. Um. Hmm. Um. These are some places I haven't explored too much. These two specifically. I know they haven't because they're part of the quest for Tenpenny Tower. There's so few places I haven't explored, but so many too. Oh, I want to look up the uh, Rock Creek Caverns. I definitely haven't been inside there yet. An oversized glass pitcher and cup can be found in the same area as the safe at D. Yeah, the caverns are pretty cavernous, it looks like. It looks like Myr Lurk Central. Just gonna group all these tabs together. Um, oh. Group that too. Capitol Building, Roosevelt Academy, Alexandria Arms, Tacoma Industry, Industrial, Rock Creek Caverns. My god. The list keeps growing. 
How is there so many locations in this game? <laughs> oh, hello, Aether. Glad you can join us. Um, I'm pretty, pretty chonk-pilled right now. I need to do our classic thing where we sell everything. How much money do I have? Ooh, 6k. There's a quest that I can do that gives me a thousand coins. Coins? Caps. <laughs> Might want to do that one, because that'll get us closer to a next perk. Our next 10k cap perk that we allow to buy ourselves. We are late night gaming tonight, folks. It is Friday into Saturday. Hello. Decided to check out the. Sh we are gaming. Oh, nice. Need to find a way to sell this. Come on, give me something I can work with. Mini nuke always helps. Shave down the price. Mm. Oh, okay. It's too much. Too much mustard. Or is it? I'm I'm gonna take this opportunity to sell some some of this junk. Some of this junk that I stole from needy people. As one should, in video game. In video game. A classic deflector. Of any sort of judgment. Thanks. Okay. Hi. Welcome, Welcome to, to Potomac, Potomac Attire. Attire. Something about it feels so quotable the way he says it. Welcome to Potomac Attire. That, that almost felt like I was going into an Ego Raptor style rap. Welcome to Potomac Attire, where you know the clothing is fire. Something something Zelda Richter Belmont. <laughs> Just like Aaron. Pleasure doing business with you. You know, we we do a little repairing around here. Cool. Nice to see you again. I swear, I've picked up that bear like five times. The teddy bear that fi finds its way on the floor. Hmm, no. Well, oh, I'll sell you junk, but... Nothing I really want to buy. Thanks. Good value, though. This guy rips me off yes, that's because fine. I... Outed him as being around. like a slaver or whatever. After what? After what you did? Yeah, he gouges me. The prices. It's fine. I can. I can take the hit. Red racer jumpsuit. Ooh. Oh, no, that, that's useful. Pretty sure he's like, I can't refuse service, but I can at least jack up the prices. So I can jack off the prices. Thank goodness we're on YouTube where you, where you can't say things like that.
I'll do it. Give me a shout if you need me. And keep the four caps from the cigarettes. Okay, that lightened my load by a, a, a little bit. Not really that much. Could have done a lot better. Um... Okay, I've marked... Uh, I've, I've written down the locations I want to go to. I don't need to keep that marker there, I don't think. Unless I need marker somewhere. Just gonna be looking around in case there's other stuff I noticed I didn't go to. I don't know if I went in there, I think. Yeah. 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 I feel like this is a relatively safe place to encounter. Oh, never mind. Oh, hi. Sounds like some raiders are getting killed. Oh, it's Ben. <laughs> well, it was just Ben. Yep. Good to see you again, friend. Not the biggest loss if we lose Ben. He just takes up one of the slots for the traders. Oh, hey. Actually, no, he doesn't. It looks like it. Looks like you. Looking to trade. They can coexist. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Whatever you say, pal. Just keep selling me those funny guns, and we'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. See if you have any callers. At your beck and will. Thanks. Beck and whim. Whimsy. Nice. Okay, that, that helped a little bit. Got some of the bigger items out with that guy. Oh, I still have, yeah, still sitting on a ton of rad scorpion chunks. This has been, I, there is way too much of my Fallout series that has been spent just waiting for traders to appear. Like, way too much of my series has been you having to sit here with me. All I have to think of something to say. Like a streamer. Looking for that special song. Let's good. see what the good, good doctor good, good. has in his magic bag, shall we? What's in his makeup bag? Oh, I said magic bag, and it's a makeup bag. I think I want to keep that. The tri-beam rifle for now. Sell this other heavy stuff. Start a little collection of pre-war money. Cool. Yeah. Another Okay, just one more person. And then I'll have like a full clean slate. Fuck, it's Ben! God! <laughs> no! It's a waste of my goddamn time. My my Ben canning ass time. Okay, I've already talked to you, Hoff. Doc Hoff. It's a little reference for you. Star Wars heads out there. Good to see you.
I still see his name at the bottom. It's about to be New Year. It's about to, it's Christmas Eve. I'm spending Christmas Eve waiting around for caravans and spending with Ben. <laughs> spending Christmas with Ben. Great. Who else would I have wanted to? It's a fucking game. I don't know why I let that take, take up all that time. I should have cut my losses like a day ago waiting around. But we're fine. It's good to doesn't, see you alive and doesn't well. affect anything except my mood. So it affects nothing important. Um, that's the scrap metal. 28, nice. We have eight bears to add. Are we on money? Oh, shit. Time for a new perk. Cool. Okay. Time to look at my little... little checklist here. Apparently, the next perk I wanted to give myself last time I looked through this list was life giver just gives me 30 more points of health like i need it okay so that should be 620 soon zero 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 three one dragon ball db one life giver okay Yeah, worked. Nice. Okay. Sweet. God, I did end up putting that in there, didn't I? The, uh... The Geomapper. Still trying to... I forgot about these. I'm still gonna try selling them off, I guess. I really never use that armor, even though I should. The Ranger armor. I'll at least repair both of them. Uh, I think I'm gonna try selling those two armors. Well, I, apparently, I mean, I obviously use them, so never mind. I just, I just use them to repair stuff. That's fine. That that can exist in there. Okay, and we're finally, finally ready to uh. Do something. Okay, just uh, updating the perks list. There are uh, one, two, three, four, eight plus five. There are thirteen perks left that I'm like 
even remotely inter interested in. <laughs> and half of them are like, like a lot of them are very like non-important perks that I'm never going to use. Like, like there's the Sandman one where you can kill people in their sleep. There's the Lead Belly one where it's 50% less radiation from drinking radioactive stuff. It's just, these are, these are the perks that if I really care to get, I'll be like, okay, fine. If I have the money, I'll get them. But those are like deeper on the list. The next, the things that are up next on my perk list are Nerd Rage, Rad Absorption, Rad Resistance, Sniper, Commando, Concentrated Fire, Paralyzing Palm, Gunslinger. Okay, so that, that those were all the perks that were like, I are interested and in, interesting and worth it. Um, maybe I'll replace Sandman for for the next one, but like. After that, I have Sandman, Action Boy, Lead Belly, Puppies, and Deep Sleep. All those, except Action Boy, are really, like, not important. Action Boy is, like, slightly important, I guess. It gives you just, like, a little bit more action points for VAT stuff. But it's really not the biggest thing. I never use VATs anyway, so... Used VATs once this episode, and that's a rare situation. Eh realized it's 20 pounds oops yes I think I'll do like one more thing and then I'll call it the end of the fallout segment for tonight. What do I want to do though? I think I'll do something kind of smaller. I think I'll explore the uh, the caverns today. Tonight. Yeah, I think this is not that big of a deal. Check this off and then call it a night for the uh, fallout stream section. Smection. Hello. Okay, nope, yep, they're here. They're fighting something. I wonder what they fought. I think those are both overlords. Just chill. Chilling out with my overlords. Tch. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. I think they were killing rad scorpions now that I thought about it. No, they were killing raiders. Well, they killed a raider. I'm so glad I didn't have to deal with them in the regular capacity. It's so annoying. Stinky. Oh, I hear Meyer. I hear London. I hear France. And, uh, it sounds like English speaking and French speaking, if I'm being honest. When I hear both of them. Cool. Uh oh. It's not good. Well, it's not that bad, though. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Even when I'm not hidden, I can handle that pretty well now. I'm enjoying my juiced up unarmed run. I don't know if I can go back. I gave up 300 stim packs. I feel like that counts as like maybe two episodes worth. I've been pretty fair with the with the perks, okay. Three hundred you can never get back. That's how that works. Those are tucked away.
Is what selling Popix, Riku? I didn't see that message actually until just now for some reason. Don't know why it didn't come through until now. Wonder what you could have been referring to selling paw picks. Oh, you were said making 1k caps, lol. Okay. Nice. No, it's the, uh, it's called Gallows Humor in the unmarked quests. It's about this one, uh, no spoilies, but it's about this one character who has, like, a, a name that you're supposed to, it's like a betting competition going around the Citadel. And you can find out information, I guess, and, like, get his name correct and win a thousand caps. The gist of it. But yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I have no clue about it, so I want to be in the dark. We'll one we'll counter that together. I'm glad you're aware of it, because I definitely am not. I am snot. It's like I am Groot, but much worse. I want to come back here to see if there's anything here. There wasn't. Wow. Mad. So mad. Yeah, um, think again, Bethesda. These aren't caverns, okay? I call this place Rock Creek Caverns, and there's no caverns. There are not going to be any caverns. Cool. So no paw picks, so no head. Okay, well, this is kind of like a cavern now. <laughs> I'm just Josh, and I knew there were gonna be caverns, I swear. I'm just, I just want to play up the bit. I love the ragdoll. I also love the rains down in Africa. I don't know why that made me think of that song. Because the lyrics aren't love. It's like bless. Damn, that snap sound. Broke his twig. High level mercs in here. Taking all the goodies. Oh, here's the oversized pitcher they were talking about. Take that. An oversized cup. When I was a kid, I, I, on my blurry ass CRT TV in the living room, whenever I'd find a cup in these, in, in like the boxes, it would say cup. I totally thought it was a cap every time. So I was like, oh, there's, so there's one cap in here. And then like I, my inventory would always get fucking full of all these cups and I wouldn't realize that they weren't cups. I thought they were caps because it was so hard to read it on the little fucking <laughs> blurry ass screen the sharp the sharp the, sh the little difference between an a and an o is so like minuscule you can hardly see that there's like a little line distinguishing it to be an a i have a feeling that's like an issue a bunch of people must have had back in the day it couldn't be couldn't have been the only one they 
Sorry, did I say O? I meant the A and the U. I am dyslexic. <laughs> but the difference between cup and cap. To be specific. Uh, oh, there's still more. I think. I stink. Oh my god. Oh. It's time. Lady. Goodbye. Refuse. Is there supposed to be mushrooms, by the way? I guess I see it. Ugh, I never really pay, pay attention to, like, the, bee, the the weird worm texture on it. Like, I know that there was, like, the green glowing mushrooms. Of course, those are supposed to be fungus, but the, uh, like, these orangish, yellowish things. Like, ugh. I always thought of them as, like, eggs. Like textured eggs. The shell having a weird texture on it. Oh, only if you, only if you looked, looked for the signs that an invisible person was here. Then he would have survived. Maybe he would have survived. If he had some inkling that an invisible person was knocking around cow rib cages. Stealth mode activated. Monk. Drink. To wink. It's up there. Wow. Oh. oh. A lady. And meat. No shortage of meat in this cavern. Could have been cool. <laughs> nah, sorry, I couldn't have given you a cool death. I tried to, though. I really tried. Oh. I think I've been here already. This direction, yeah. My hand is falling asleep from just holding down the shift button every so often. move around my arm. That's better. I have been, like, on the side of my L desk, just, like, leaning it on it. So, that could be helping, contributing, too. Oh. It's like a different metro exit. Bro. R.I.P. RPM nude fish bro. Nice. Ooh. There's a lot of goodies here. A treat, a reward, a feast for me. Sure. I wonder what a fully, uh, a full condition power fist is like when I'm juiced up on unarmed like this. Mmm. Mmm, I say. Mmm. Um. Fuck. Frick. It's a lot of goodies. A lot of goody two shoes. Oh, and there's someone even here. One cup on them. Oh, 
I heard like a scream. Like a, 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 a growl. In game, I think. Power fist. Whoa, it's more. Okay, might as well might bring one of those out one of those out soon. Might rock the power fist while I'm all beefed up. Try keeping the cup and the pitcher. Because they're abnormally large. Okay. Sometimes can't tell if the horrifying noises are in the game or in real life. Oh, hello. Oh, teddy bear. Tatter. Oh, tatter. Mr. Beanhead's out there going wild. Okay, I'm just gonna. Only short kings. Something up. The Rock Creek Penis Station. A full quantum found in a wooden crate at B. To get there, while on stalactite A. Whoa. Cool. Yeah, this whole bit over here I never got to. You know how I like the bits. We chugging. We are upside down and chugging. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yes. Yeah! Didn't even have to cheat. All I did was cheat. Oh, I've been here already. Well. Oh. Well, I'm glad I didn't cheat. I go in the water, it might deactivate my invisibility. So I tried staying near the edge, and it paid off. Got lucky. Now you didn't. Now you have gone and fucked up.
I feel like I've been here. Signs that a raccoon was here. Okay, so it's at a fallen stalactite. Made a made a bridge to get up somewhere. Took me a while, but I think we got it. Yeah. This looks like it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wow. Cheeky game design. Very, very cheeky. Felt like, uh, felt like dead money a little bit. The platforming you had to do. I do appreciate that Dead Money's platforming at least feels like it's all man-made platforming. Not like natural like this, where it kind of looks like it doesn't work every half the time. It is cool that that's up there though, that car. Looks nice, environmentally. It's the place that caved in. Alright, well, I feel satisfied. Yeah, nice little details. Mm-hmm. I'm impressed. You know, this this place, you know, it sure was a cavern in the end. I, it had, I had it, my doubts at the start, but in the end, it really was. Okay, well, geez, I mean... I think I'm just gonna, you know, set myself up so I'll be ready for next stream, but besides that, um, I'm cool on the fallout for tonight. I'm glad I finished that place. Four out of five. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Decent rating. Uh, save... Why just delete? Cool. Okay, so I got Tacoma Industrial, Alexandria Arms, Roosevelt Academy, the Capitol Building. Those are the tabs I have open. But there's, like, so I, I included Roosevelt Arms and Capitol Building there. Those are two locations that haven't been discovered. Look, Alexandria is a place that has been. So there's that. Roosevelt's over here. And there's just the whole chain of other places I haven't visited that's along this path. And then, uh, the clifftop shacks. These two. The factory and the vault. There's the scrapyard. I'm, I'm really gonna save that till the last... last second, because that's when you team up, when you meet up with dog meat. And I'm not really <laughs> interested in, like, Putting dog meat in danger by activating that area. Like, if dog meat isn't, like, you know, registered yet, I feel like he's safe. Oh, and I have to minefield. I'm gonna write down minefield. That's another place I keep forgetting that I want to explore. I never actually explored it. I just went inside, got the mine, and got out. Minefield. I think if even if you kill Arkansas or 
let's see if that's his name. I think it is. Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah. Minefield and Gek walking around the red area causes Arkansas to shoot cars, mines, or objects, or other objects if he is present, even if he is not hostile. Okay. Oh, interesting. I see the map now. Neat. Um, yeah, it's like these, <laughs> like these rectangles that are intersecting through the ground that show distinct areas where he'll shoot around. Um, I was gonna say I think he I think he still shoots at shit even if he isn't act if even if he isn't alive, but I might be wrong. That might be a glitch sometimes. Hopefully, oh no, I know what it is. If you um, if you're like invisible, he'll still shoot at the cars. That's what happened to me while I was in minefield. Even if you're invisible, he'll still ha be able to detect you're there. I guess if he's dead, then like the game registers. Uh, no, he won't. He won't shoot it, shoot things anymore. Shahoot! You killed off the slavers. They still try to kill you. Oh hi. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, he's he's a prick. That guy. Whoa. Good job up there. Is that uh, a named guy? I'll never forget you. Oops. Here. Yeah. He seems okay. Welcome to Stockholm. The more time I spend talking to you, the less I'm spending watching for raiders. How'd you even get up here anyway? How did you get up here anyway? I remember. Please stand clear. There's two of him. There's one outside and inside. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well. Oh my god. Okay, I think it worked. Motherfucking Ben Canning. Down. No! Down. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm wikiing him. I wanna read what's up with him. What? What's, what's his deal? Why is he... Ben Canning is a water beggar found at random locations in the Capital Wasteland. Unlike other water beggars in the Capital Wasteland, Ben does not sit outside of a settlement. Rather, he is a friendly wasteland traveler who has ventured out solely unprepared, leaving him dehydrated after running out of water. He does not expect help from other wasteland travelers, and if someone were to donate some water, he would pleasant he would be pleasantly surprised. I did that. Yep. You're going to say you're going to kill him. I mean, I probably will in a second, but I want to read all of his wiki so we can just learn about the quirks of him and how he fucks up the rotation here. Ben, other interactions. Ben Canning appears in a random look encounter. Upon meeting, he will choose, you can choose to give him water or let him die. Unlike the water beggars found outside those places who will accept purified water, Ben will also accept dirty water. However, he will not accept the like post-game waters. Or holy water. <laughs> if one has both purified and dirty in the game, the game will prioritize the latter over the former. So they'll prioritize dirty. Standing after a minute or two, he simply says, Good to see you again, friend. If one refuses to give him water, he'll ask. You'll ask them to shoot him in the head because he is out of ammunition. 
or else he would do it himself. If one grants him their quest, they will receive negative karma. Effects of the player's actions. He will be given water. He will follow the same looping route as caravan merchants. Yep. If not given water, he will die. Notes. Although he is equipped with a laser pistol, it doesn't matter. First pickpocket him. Doesn't matter. Give him water. He takes out an empty Nuka Cola bottle. When joining the caravan route, he may take the place of caravan merchants, leaving one or all of the existing merchants permanently stuck in at their current stops, including him. Verified. Uh oh. Well, um, hmm. That's a little annoying. That he might have glitched out a lot of the merchants. I mean, it's just annoying, regardless. Guess we have to kill him. Looking to trade? Tell me what you need. You're fixed. Just might. I need to get rid of this. It's so heavy. I picked up all the meat. Cool. Thanks. Oh, actually. Looking to trade? It's not Let's the best repair man. What the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? But neither am I if I don't have equipment. If I don't have parts to repair with, I would say I'm not a good repairman without my parts. Without my glasses. Can't repair without my glasses. Another is Welcome to Okay, Ben, you better hope we'd never encounter you again. I'm sorry, Ben. No, I, I don't want to kill him. I want to do something worse. I want, I want him out of existence. PC manipulation. Kill. Hmm. Hold on now. Okay, yeah. Okay, sorry to say this, but... You're... I deleted you. You're gone, Ben. You just don't exist. I'm sorry. You're, you're gone. Welcome to... At least he never died, right? Megaton. We could say he just... Enjoy he just disappeared. He, he got the bottled water, and they just left. Rip. See, we got he had a special send off. It's like in the Bible, he didn't die, he he went directly to heaven. In, in the Bible there's a lot of talk about people who went like directly to heaven instead of dying. A few people did. A few very like I think three people. Partner. Hey, hey, look. Okay. Hey, hey. Love me some crazy wolf. Good to see you, Crazy Wolf Gang. 
Nothing but the highest quality left It's good to see you over some other people. Some other people that kept popping up. Actually, really don't have much heavy things to give him. Yeah, wow. That's pretty much it. Oh, actually, what was I saying? I forgot all about all the meat. Like I did, like I said earlier. Forgot about the meat then and now. Wow, perfect. That, that's like the perfect amount of money. Cool. Yeah, wow. Perfectly sold off like most of it. Let's see if there's anything he has that I want. Camera? Upsell that for like a hundred bucks. Um. Cool. And try. Oh. RIP Ben. Sweet. I had a lot of fun organizing items, visiting new places. My goodness. It's been a while since I've looked at the pile. Or taken taken the pile in. That's a it's quite the pile of gnomes. I'm glad we could work on this together, everyone. It's a team effort, collecting all those gnomes. Um, just want to look at some of these. Cool. I'll sell these off soon. Yeah. Hold on to those, so I'll sell them next stream. Oh yeah, Power Fist, or Fisto or whatever. Uh, let's look at a few of these. Fisto. God damn, that's a lot of damage. There's another one too, if I recall. Shocker, yep. Oh. Any of them just like a plain old power fist? I think I've sold the Power Fist a few times because I knew I had the other variants. Okay, so that in mind. Okay, so that's fully repaired, 298. Shocker is at, oh, it's even better. Oh no, 293. No, the, the Fisto is slightly, outdoes it. Testing its speed compared to the other fists. Oh, what? Oh, that's the difference in power? Hold on, that's nothing. That's... Oh. Oh, I didn't notice how, sh how minuscule the differences were. Okay, well, if it's if it's a choice between, like, that... Yeah, I know. We're, we're putting those away. This is only one pound. This is, these still are way heavier. Six pounds? And I'm holding on to the shish kebab in case I stop this this madness with unarmed. So that's why that's staying around. I'm gonna quickly drop off some stuff. The uh, the oversized stuff. Big, big mode. Big, big. <laughs> See if we can get this up upright. Oh nope, it's it's like recentering every time. Oh, ooh. perfect. Ten 
take a sip. Take a fucking sip, babes. Yeah. Oh. Fuck. Yeah. Testing fate here. Yes. Good. Oh, no. Oh, no, that sucks. No, 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 it's all wrong. No. Uh, I, I, I saw it happening in real time. I should have saved. Okay. Let's do this again. There. Eh. No, you! Get out of here, you! You're not welcome here right now. You're gonna mess everything up more than I have. Somehow, more than I have. There. Turn this a little bit. It's a quick save. See, I've learned my lesson. Quick saved. In case this goes horribly wrong again. There. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Saving. SpongeBob picture. Oh, yeah, the SpongeBob picture. Yes, for Extreme Thirst, you're right. Good reference. I was thinking of a picture that's like in the shape of SpongeBob, but no, right? He has a huge ass picture. Oh. Just want to like position it so it's like, yeah, you're going to drink from it. And turn it a little bit more. Oh, it's pretty good. Yep. Good. Up. Up. Okay, it's fine how it is. That's fine. Yeah, a mod so you can place things in your home easier would be nice. I guess it's part of the charm, though, how horrible it is. Not that I like that or anything, but it's it's part of it, for sure. Part of the experience of decorating in your house and Fallout. Okay. Nice. How much wonder glue do I have? I think I have like 80. That's that's my guess. 82! Pretty good guess. Okay, I'll try selling the power fist if I remember. And the stealth boys. Besides that, I'm sitting on, like, less than 120 weight. Looking pretty good. How may I, serve you? Good morning, I waited sir. around a lot. Do you have something for me? Yep, you do. I waited around for merchants that long. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna quit after this. I just wanted to double check something. I'm curious, how many more spaces do I have to unlock? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight, nine. I haven't gone to this vault yet, but I definitely know that already. I definitely know that I haven't been in there. Eight, nine, I think. Wow. Oh, ten. There's about ten more locations I haven't discovered. Vault 106, Vault 108. I have actually have tabs open for both of those, in a sense. 
I have a tab open for the two bobbleheads I don't have yet. And each of those bobbleheads are in that one up there, the uh, sp ash, the, the charisma one, and whatever bobblehead I'm missing here. I think it's the science one. Those two are in two, two of those vaults. But yeah, woo. Thanks for joining. It was lots of fun hanging this Fallout section. Great Fallout episode. See you in the next one, everyone. See ya.